Oh my goodness, hello everybody. Hello, good evening. Sunsets and Kimo and Dark Rubber Ducky and Oceana, Raider and Kitchen and Lottie, good evening. Good evening, Andraste and Slash Puppies, Booty, Hugh, Don, Alyssa, hello everybody. Nat, lovely to see you today. Indy, hello. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, on good night, depending on where you are on this beautiful planet. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another ad hoc live stream. Hi, team. Hi, everyone. Hey, who? Lovely to see you today. Rivless, hello. Sky, hello. Lane, hello. Sugi, hello. Hi, 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 hi. JJ, hello. Hello. Um, thank you all so much for joining me for yet another ad hoc live stream. Happy Sunday to everyone. Happy Sunday. Um, I hope you're all having a fabulous weekend. Have had a fabulous week. I know I've been a little bit away. Um, things, <laughs> we knew this was happening. I knew I was going to be away for a while. I didn't expect it to go all the way through until Sunday, but it did. Um, so I thought today I'd stop yelling because I'm peeking my microphone like crazy. Please hold. Hello. Oh, there we go. Uh, so today I thought we'd catch up on the last couple of days because a lot's kind of happened. A lot's kind of happened. Right. Start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. Thursday. My Thursday Foodies Wednesday. How many days ago was that? Oh, okay. So I missed out. What did I miss out on? That's just so many streams. There's like 12 of them. 13 of them. 14 of them. I think there's 14 of them. Whew. Okay. Skipped out on not one pomegranate, you liar. It's clearly more than two pomegranates. Also, just FYI, we're reacting to the one, the only, the incomparable and comparable Chantal Marie Miss Foodie Beauty today. Um, and today we're going to, I'm going to watch some of them at Crispy because she's in the car. It's always a good time. Late night drive through Beeson. It's always a good time. It's a bad time. It's bad, but it's also pretty good. Um, <clears throat> and then we're going to go over Yes, I Still Love Him. There's a two-hour stream that happened after that entitled Let's Bees. We absolutely won't be touching that with a 10-foot pole because she's just zooted through the stratosphere and the same talking points I can only listen to so often. Um, all right, so miss the one pomegranate, not the victim card. I'm pretty sure I was listening to that. I think I was doing something productive while I was doing that. What was I doing while I was doing that? I think I was walking. I am looking a little bit flush because I got a lot of sun this weekend. So that's that's what's going on there. Uh, creating a YouTube account tutorial. Ooh, no, no. Okay, so now we get into the, um, the, the Repsion stuff, right? So everybody knows, and I'm late to the party. Also, I'm Zach, but I'm mostly late to the party. Um, so, Repsion's picked up the story in regards to Old Mate and uh, with a large focus on Foodie Beauty. That piece of content is meant to drop next weekend. Watch party? Do we want to do a watch party? Do we feel about How do we feel about a watch party? Maybe a watch party over on the Discord. Anyway, um, so that's meant to happen then. And I'm... I'll be interested to see how much is in it. No doubt it'll be pretty thorough. The problem... The, it's not a problem, but the, the thing with niche content, right, is that, how do I, how do I, I don't know what to compare it to. The thing with niche content is that we audience members who are in it every day are literally like in it every day. So it'll be interesting to see like if anything gets missed out on and whether or not they're like what specifically, if anything. It's not to say it will. I'm just saying that as as individuals, as audience members who watch it every day, it'll be interesting to see if anything's kind of like either missed or if... Yeah, it'll be interesting. Interesting regardless. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Oh, oh, hello. Lovely to see you. I'm very curious. I haven't kept up. The last time I was watching Repsion was like with the uh, Onion Boy stuff. So I haven't... That, that's years ago though. So I don't know. I'll be interested. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, Arizona, hello. <laughs> no sunsets. It's not a smart move. I mean, I think that... I don't... Hmm. I don't know. Part of me thinks, because I don't think very highly of Chantel. I don't think of highly of anyone in that trio of individuals being Chantel, um, Old Mate and Didi. But... With Foodie, I don't know if it's me and I, I missed something somewhere along the lines, but it really is starting to feel like Chantel's um, just really, really keen on that attention. Do you know what I mean? 
I don't know, maybe it's because I would entirely distance myself from the situation, knowing that someone with, like, hundreds of thousands of subscribers was gonna, like, be be doing a big story, and given the fact that Foodie is, is in the middle of that story, but also has the option to kind of, like, scooch to the side, do you know what I mean? It really seems like she's just actively trying to bait for for the attention in that realm. So again, this is why I'll be interested to see next weekend when everything comes out to see like what's glossed over, what's focused on. You know, there's only so much time that you can dedicate to projects like this. So I'll be really interested to see what's chosen to be highlighted and spoken on versus what's chosen to be kind of like put to the side. And this is the problem with trying to catch like general audiences up with someone like Chantel because there's just so much. So much. And, like, what do you put in for context? What do you keep out for context? Who are you, like, are you introducing people into Girl World? Or are you making this piece of content for people who are really familiar with Foodie? Like, it will be, yeah, it'll be interesting. We'll see how it goes. Lottie, thank you for being here for 20 months. 20 months. Dude, it's almost two years. Good to see you. Lottie says, thanks, as always, for being fab, Zach and team. Thank you for being fab, Lottie. And thank you for being here for 20 months. Wouldn't be what it is without you. I appreciate you. Lovely to see you today. I hope you've had a great weekend. Thank you for being here for 20 months. Um, Morning Fit, hello, lovely to see you today. Hello, hello. Um, cool. So, that's where that was. Then we started the Repsion conversation. Poutine and Pizza Bees. Skip it, it's six seconds, it's fine. Poutine Bees. Surprise, surprise, she's eating poutine. Let's Bees. Beesin. Probably Beesin. Super Beesin. Coffee Bees were skipping on. Men are embarrassed to be seen with me. I did watch this one because this was her <laughs> foodie in the Italian restaurant waiting to be called to the hotel room, which was really kind of weird and bizarre. Um, and then the McCrispy, which happened on the same day, but in the evening time. So that was post being called to the hotel room by her, her gentleman caller. Well, I mean, I don't know if the gentleman was calling. Maybe it was just the hotel who was calling. Regardless, um, <laughs> we're going to touch on McCrispy. Uh, and then go into the next day, which is entitled, Yes, I Still Love Him, but was meant to be a clean with me bees, but it didn't happen that way. So. <laughs> Haley, hello, lovely to see you. And Cookie, hello, good to see you as well. <laughs> um, all right, so we're going to get straight into the thing. Hi, my name's Zach. Lovely to meet you if you're new, and thank you very much for returning. If you're coming back, I am not a mental or physical healthcare professional. Just guy lost weight to us about things on the internet, which is way too much for you to be. <laughs> Also not here to bully, shame, hate, harass, or humiliate. Literally here to talk about the produced and montage content that we see here on this platform because it's all about choices. Choices about what we put on the internet. Choices about the words come out of our mouths. Choices. It's all about choices. Um, all right, so we're going to get started. Also, Core and Savitri, I see you. Booty, thank you for the reminder. I will indeed pin the thing. Gotta pin the thing. Pin the thing. And we're going to get started with Mick Crispy just for a little bit. I'm pretty sure it's in, like, the first half hour the problematic bs that i kind of wanted to touch on but you know where's the surprise there uh right mccrispy we'll take it from the start we'll take it at speed we'll take it at full screen and we'll take it take it take it take it take it take it what the hell are they doing <sighs> hey there's a the pizza are not sleeping there we go danny pickles battery medium what is that headset connected <laughs> hello hello you were so bored yeah i need food okay hold on i'll say hi to you guys hi ashley you missy moo j boy aisha k who did i miss come find you that's the dream l you were just gonna if if i was at all interested in sports <laughs> what are you talking about missile rage angela hi moon like Rhonda. what's on her head a scarf <laughs> actually this is an extra large i got it at jonka too so, why do I look weird right now? <laughs> oh, you can get pineapple now? Look at that shit. They're trying. Oh no, you missed it. Yo, there's pineapple at McDonald's and- Yo, let me tell you. Yo. It's the fucking veggie burger. Perfect. So fast! A strong start. Oh, Harvest Flavor Coffee. That was the longest ride home, and you know what I was listening to the whole way? I shot brown cherry! Jesus. I was hanging out with a man. You guys would laugh because- Long well, hair I and a hotel, tan. But a Rocky Horror Picture Show reference for those of you not musically inclined. Coffee. <laughs> because, um... Rayleigh, hello. When I told Mr. Coffee that I'm going to be driving home, he's like, no, okay, I'll go get you, get you coffee. And he's like, you, like, you want it, uh, black or with milk and sugar? And I'm like, milk and sugar. So he went out again. <laughs> and when he brought it back, I was like, <laughs> I wanted to say so bad, this is why you're Mr. Coffee. But he ne we never talk about my videos, but he does, he must watch them because... 
You had a piece of cheese and oatmeal cookie? Yeah. Can an optometrist please contact Chantel? Please. <laughs> Hi, Rhonda. Also, don't. This is someone real. This is reality. Like, don't touch. Just watch. But still. You're st it's the squinting that's concerned. Star fishing! Yeah, Aisha. Hi, coffee first. She bought another in a deep. I'm sorry, nice latte. Just onesie. Listen. Lottie, that's perfect. Because then I was like, uh, I don't know why I brought up orange julep. It just happens in conversation randomly. So, I was like, he's like, oh, yeah, orange julep I heard in your video. And then I was like, what? Why does my look like a basketball right now? I was like, you watch my my videos? Bunny, hello. Thank you for being here for 12 months. You didn't leave a message, but feel free to tag me. I appreciate you. Happy anniversary. He was like, I'm like, so you know I'm a weirdo. And you still want to talk to me? He's like, yes, I know you're a weirdo. <laughs> he's fucking funny. Well, that explains why I'm just a lay. I'm just joking. No, I had a really, really, really nice time, yes. And, but I'm here because, well, the Alfredo was a while ago. He always has food, like fruits and shit. Pum okay, forgive me for my ignorance, but Mr. Mr. Nice Coffee he was the gentleman she took a photo of at the hotel room and blurred out the face. So it was just like the background, the ugly photo and her. Is that that photo? Pretty sure that's that photo. God, you missed a couple of days. Uh, Ozzy, hello. Thank you for being here for 16 months, my friend. Appreciate seeing you and appreciate you being here. Ozzy says, I gotta sleep because I'm seeing NSP in 12 hours. Oh, okay. Well, you sleep well, mate. Rest. Be rested. Thank you for being here for 16 months and it's a pleasure to see you today. Bex, thank you for being here for eight months. And Christo, welcome back to Pulpster. If you feel like leaving a message either of you, feel free to tag me. Lovely to see you today, though. Happy Sunday. I can seeds and cherries, but I'm like, I want some fucking Nick Crispy. Oh, it's joking. <laughs> and then this other person I'm talking to. Can I pick order for you? Hi. Can I have a Nick Crispy meal? Is that what it's called? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, please. Okay. And that's everything. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Please. You can off, please. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, miss. What are you talking about? <laughs> this reminds me of like the deep uh, Nashi era, <laughs> where people were starting to get a little bit confused as to how like how comfortable Chantal was getting with calling it a Nashi. It was good. It was a good time. Also, you all thought I forgot about the zoom in button. I did not forget about the zoom in button. <laughs> Fit, thank you for being here for 13 months, my friend. I appreciate it. Fit says, don't forget to be productive team. Oh, Fit, you are, you're, thank you for the reminder. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here for 13 months and for the reminder. Chat, I hope you're being productive while you're listening into these shenanigans. I don't care if you're just practicing some self-care, if you're learning a new recipe in the kitchen. What did I make? What did I make this weekend? Felt like I made, so made something with this weekend. Oh, that's right. So, um, there may or may not have been some, like, just leftover puff pastry amount. You know what I made? I made breakfast bites. They were delicious. Not at all good for you, but delicious. They were egg and bacon. And I, ha I made, I actually made a, um, a tomato, like, chutney, which was really good. So I made, like, egg, bacon, tomato, chutney bites in puff pastry and then put them in the oven because I was at an, a place that had an oven and it took way longer than I actually thought it would because it turns out that the oven was either super low or I'd forgotten how to use an oven. Would have been fine in the, the, um, the air fryer. I know how to use an air fryer. Turns out oven's really complicated. Um, but that was fun. So that was a fun recipe that I, that I whipped up. It's not really a recipe. It's just putting things together. But that's what recipes mostly are. Um, so yeah, if you want to go out for a walk, I'm sure it's a lovely day. And if it's not a lovely day... You can still get your steps in. Anyway, be productive while you're listening in on these shenanigans because we're just catching up with Chantal and it's not that deep. Um, excuse me. There we go. Anyway, um... <laughs> I'm making myself laugh when I look at myself. You like my shirt? Look at oh, it. Oh, absolutely, Lottie. Yes. We've got a call for hands up and love in the chat for Sue Ann completing that 80-mile bike ride. Damn. Congratulations, Sue Ann. That's huge. I'm going to need that broken down into metrics, though. But if I understand the mile to kilometer conversion, that's a big bike ride. Congrats on your big bike ride. Congrats on smashing it. You made it. Well done. Thank thank you, Lottie. And thank you, Sue. It's from Jean too. Is and she wearing a coat? She's saying this This is a shirt. She's about to talk about it. I laugh when I look at myself. You like my shirt? Look at it. It's from Jean too. And it's extra large. It, they only had one size, actually, so... I mean, it's snug, but... It's an extra large. It's cute, eh? 
Is it a sweater? Is it a stretchy sweater? I feel like I'm not trying to be shady. I feel like it's a stretchy sweater. Oceana, hello. Thank you for the super chat, mate. I appreciate it. Zach, you're the cutest. Thank you for the compliment, Oceana. That's very kind. Also, you have a new profile picture. Is that Sam? Because Sam's a little cutie too. Or is that just a random cat? My eyes are bad. Cat? Is it just a cat? I don't think it's Sam. I think it's just a cat. Anyway, thank you, Oceana. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And yes, um... Well, be on my voice food orders to order I be on my food. So I had a really nice time. Yes, I did indeed, as usual. Sorry, Luddy, I can't hear you. And I know, hopefully I see him again before he's going back to Morocco just to visit. And then I'll look after yourself, Karen. He wants to move to Ottawa. He's Good like, see ya. He's like, Montreal is nice to visit, but so he doesn't like living in Montreal. He lives in Montreal, so that's interesting to me. But um Yeah. Anyway, so Dear Foodie, I hate I, I know we left off last weekend with the same sentiment, but stop talking about imaginary men. They're either on channel or they're not. I'm bringing the same energy I am with my girlfriend, you know? That's, that's, that's Kentucky's my girlfriend, not my, Kentucky's my girlfriend. Kentucky. Kentucky's not my girlfriend. I, I don't want to explain this bit any further. Uh, Lixie, hello. Thank you very much for joining the channel as a member. I appreciate it. Welcome to Pulpster. Lexi, hello. Nice to see you. Of course. Kimo, no, still on Irish breakfast. Real? Got another, like, two bits of the sleeve. Oh, hanging on a hanger. Movie gal, good idea. Not the XXL men's. <laughs> Ooh, Jen, no, it's not a new plant. So I've had this new pl I've had this, well, I got this new plant, like, three weeks ago, right? But because of the angle that the sun comes in, the plants decided to come forward, and look how adorable. I just hope it doesn't tippy-topple over, you know. If it takes a tippy tumble, I might need to check its um its ligaments. But um, but yeah, it's all like shifted its leaves forward so it can capture more light, considering it's still a little bit cool on this side of the planet. No worries, Lixie, it's my pleasure. You should do that with pants. There. Back to this now. <laughs> I have too many McCrispies. I'm fucking hyper, I'm too, I'm fucking tired. Uh, Ottawa's better in my opinion. Hey, Auntie M. Good to see it. And Army Wife. This is far from Montreal. Hello, everyone. It's like two hours. Two hour buffer zone. You're right about that, actually. Two hour buffer zone. Anyway. Was it Roman? No. But I see, I see Roman has Tony lights. Yeah, Tara, it's not too top heavy yet, so I'll see how it goes. I think if it gets any more leaves out, it might be. But I have, I just have a concern because some of my Monstera get like the, the ghost leaf effect where they're clearly not getting enough sun um, and their leaves like develop really pale, almost white. Um, so I'm just trying to keep them as happy as possible. Now. More egg water. <laughs> Laurie, hello. Crazy cat lady vibes. It's, it's a little loose, Ariel. It's a little loose. No, I'm back in Ottawa. Finally, fuck. The only thing, the only saving grace that kept me from crashing into a tree. No, I wasn't like sleepy, but I was Excuse just me? like. Excuse me? If I don't, like it was just road, dark road. And then the van, I was following this effing fucking van. It might still be the same van ahead of me right now getting their order. I don't know. A van ahead of me. I see them like, I thought they were turning right because of the way they swerved over all of a sudden, all of a sudden, not, I, I, fuck. and whenever you have to react to something in real time, like so fast. Oh, I do that. I react in real time. Yeah. When you have to react to something, knee jerk reaction before your brain has an, a, a chance to process what's happening. Uh -huh. A baby skunk is coming towards my wheel. Oh, I don't want to listen to this. It's almost like time slows down. It's just like, it all happens so fast. I... I swerved. I don't know. I swerved. I just swerved a bunch of times. That's all. Okay, miss, if we could, if we're going to tell the story about driving safely or whatever you're going to tell yourself you did, um, could we just, could we maybe drive? I don't care if you're in a, a drive through I don't care if you're in a car park. I don't care if you're on the freeway. It'd be really good if there wasn't so much well-documented evidence of you not driving with your hands on the wheel, because then it makes it a lot more believable that you did actually do the things to try to not run over this baby skunk. Because my, I am quite cynical, and I would believe that you just, like, are either one, lying, two, telling the story just to tell a story, or three, it actually happened, and you... Mm, okay, anyway, whatever. Well, I know... I look in my mirror, the thing is alive, I'm fucking, thank you, we're both alive. Alright, get the fuck off the street, there were no cars behind me or anything. I don't know how I managed to spare its life, because it was, like, I, oh god, it was so close. So then I was like, no! And as, it, as I was watching my car come towards the poor thing, and I was like, no! Because I would have had, like, there's no- You weren't watching your car, you were driving your car, differences, hands on the wheel. Nothing you can do, I would have had to watch everything just happen, you know? Anyway, good thing I didn't, so. 
All right, everyone. She missed the skunk. It's okay. Anyway, yeah. So I, I with the story of Jonka too. She didn't, however, miss those frogs or the rabbit or the potential raccoon. All those other times. But this time she missed... I... I know you're not supposed to ever swerve because that's even more dangerous. But, like, I just didn't know, like... I was like... It was just like... I don't know. You just don't even think, you know? Oh, is she yelling? Yeah. Little bit. Oh, not too Arcus, yeah. I drive a lot. I love... Well, all the multiple curbs. Who? You just have to sit down. Well, that pole at the McDonald's. But you get to go somewhere. Oh, yeah. So, anyway. um, <laughs> The saving grace... For the whole ride home was listening to Dan Bell. I think he's still live, actually. <laughs> Dan Bell was telling stories, like ghost stories... Freaking have I got this in speed? The out as I'm driving in the dark. I do. Okay. He's a really good storyteller. Well, this reality. And then uh, he was just talking about a lot of different things. I'm the best driver. Insufferable. If your sister almost hit a teenager box, I would have tried to avoid a baby too. <laughs> oh my god, Oceana, your cat's name is Mr. Boots. I will remember. Yeah, I just like... Mr. Boots is very handsome. <laughs> it's not really anything unusual to hit animals on the Canadian road. Um, I feel like it's pretty unusual to be driving down the freeway with no hands on your wheel. Yeah, if there was a cat in the road I'm swerving, breaking, I don't care who dies. <laughs> That's why I, I know. I'm just like, I, I just like, people were like, you're going to risk. So I'm pretty sure she sees a bunny in this street. Your swerving. It's like, I don't really she care. She does. You know, Morning, Lindsay, somebody else's hello. life is different. If there's no other cars around, I'm fucking swerving. Deb, Lily, hello. <laughs> Lovely to see you. I don't know. I'll take my chances. Of course, the guy has to ask for ketchup now. Oh, Nancy, that makes sense. <laughs> Hurry up! Oh, that's being fun and stinky. I would die for that baby skunk, too. <laughs> Why do I look like an old Aunt Fat Aunt Thelma? Trash Panda, I'd, I'd believe Skunks that, yes. Skunks are adorable. <laughs> I can't believe I took my hair off. I don't want to drive other people around. I just want to drive myself around. Cassie. <laughs> But yeah, I know what you mean. Well, army wife, see, it's not just poor eyewear. It's the fact she hasn't been to an optometrist for, like, at least 12 years God, now. I know. Oh, he's doing an Uber. Like, I can't imagine her vision is um super good. Look at me. Uh, I honestly kind of get a little bit jealous when I see other people. Oh, 100% booty. Uber, like, booty. The Uber Eats people here, and, like, that would have been me if I was at home. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She made, like, 30, 20 to 30 minute vlogs every day of a health arc. Here for it. Totally Glad here you're for comfortable it. with this dude. Who put a dime in you? I haven't talked to you guys in hours. I'm a motor mouth right now. L, what's the tattoo? They have such little feet. Remember Life by Jen? Or not Life by Jen. Amy's like Journey had a pet skunk, Sebastian. Imagine you drive a- Skunks are wildlife, right? They're not pets, right? We don't have skunks in Australia. Other people around and you're in your live stream. So tell me about your life. I don't think we've got anything close. Dude, I take my hair off after the starfish, usually. I don't know. <laughs> had a shower and put my vape knots back on. Why is this guy having a philosophical discussion in the McDonald's lineup? How dare he? Send help, please. Unlock. Block me, you Oompa Loompa. It's been a year. Oh my god. I don't what know, Jen. They can be pets? Wait, are you blocked? Really? You're not blocked? It says, if I see your comment, you're not blocked. You Oompa Loompa. Whatever happened to Amy's life turn? Ooh, like a scale of justice, L, or like a booty scale? Like, or like a kitchen scale. Fucking freaking out over a or like a dragon scale. Fucking coupon. Does he just want me to pay for his food Any or what? specifics. I'm so tired of this shit. Gloating. Uh, surprise, surprise. She is in a in a drive through for uh, a McChicken. McCrispy. McChicken Crispy. Crispy McChicken. Whatever what the hell it is. What time is it? 2.30? Oh my god. Well, it wasn't what she said it was because the service worker was very confused. I don't even have time to wheelchair beast today. This line is taking care of one guy, his be. little arm is sticking out the window, and he's using his little arm to complain about big things. <laughs> I've seen him hand over a coupon, I've seen her, he's handing his food bag back. Here we go, guys. If they made a movie about me, what act? Ah, yes, foodie complaining about other individuals in the drive thru. Love that. There's Love that else. for us. Oh, heavy metal, Brie? You can't pay for him if you're in front of him. Who got married? Oh, Bonnie, the. The skunk? That's a great name, Oceana. Amy's like Journey? She's married to an Egyptian man. Seems like a pretty chill, laid-back Egyptian man. Huh. Wheelie, yeah. one one day at a time, man. I remember that. I remember thinking that all Egyptian men were Brutus. like that. But nope. No, I'm heavy metal breed. Oh. Well, that's the cool one. We only need one. Scale of justice. Uh, we'll see. You have to be specific, Al. I'm just kidding. Melissa McCarthy! Dan Aykroyd! <laughs> Dan Aykroyd! The 
queen is dead, I know. It's sad. She was the one who slapped her kid, right? Yeah, on the butt. And then had a spoon, like, right here. Not the queen. <laughs> like, don't make me get the spoon! <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Carla, that's okay. We're just catching up a day beforehand. Good morning, Marissa. Happy Sunday. Hope you're well. Brie is a fake imposter. I am the only one and only Brie. Can't you guys at least spell your name differently? It's this one guy. He got his wrong Casey order. Smoke. And now he's all waiting. He's making everyone wait. I'm just joking. They better not fuck up my McCrispy. Okay, so we it is confirmed. If anyone was ever in doubt, just watch this stream again. The haha -ha, just joking thing is not a joke. It's not a joke. It's just to forgive anything that Chantal might say to put a foot in her mouth. But she constantly puts a, constantly puts her feet in her mouth. Both of them, same time. Anyway, <laughs> I'm calling corporate. I need to go home and see my cats. I haven't seen them in hours. All moms need an emergency spoon in their Toyota Sienna minivan. <laughs> She's like, I just use it to threaten. I know, don't hit them with it. Well, in that case, may as well have a Glock. Don't make me get the fucking. <laughs> Uh You act like you're starving or something. I am. I haven't eaten in like since they all Sorry, I'm just gonna take that back a little bit. Just just a smidge. Just a just a scotch. Just to um in reality time, just so everybody else can can fully fully acknowledge and be aware that this individual is just the worst. Hold on. <laughs> She's like, I just use it to threaten. I know don't hit them with it. Well, in that case, may as well have a Glock. Don't make me get the fucking gun! Uh... uh huh. At some point in today's and or yesterday's stream, Chantel's talking about kids and the Pretend, like what it would have been like if she could have had kids and how she would have had a thousand by now and this that and the other and um I'm just gonna just gonna put out there foodie sense of responsibility and potentially teaching young people bad just influencing young people bad just bad 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 terrible bad terrible bad awful bad you act like you're starving or something I am I haven't eaten in like since the Alfredo that was a long time ago. I ate the Alfredo at like seven. Fuck. Hey, like, trauma. Seven, Lovely to see you. Seven hours ago. <sighs> they should make him drive ahead and fucking wait. <laughs> you know how they do that if you order something they never usually make? Or they run out of for some reason and they have to fucking fry it for six minutes. I hate when they fucking do that. Okay, we'll make it for you, but your chicken Morning, will take six Cindy. minutes. Why is that my fucking problem? I don't care how long the chicken takes. All I know is I ordered a fucking McChicken. Oh, he fucking like freaked out over. Oh yes, I did see oh, well. that clip, Deb. I won't say anything because pulling a full aerial in the Italian anymore. restaurant. You know what I mean? So. Hey, Mystic. <laughs> I'm hyper sherry. Thanks, Elle. Yeah, Appreciate I know. it. <laughs> it's very reassuring. Yeah. Hey, Sushi. Hi. Hi. Can I smoke twenty, please. I don't need any change. That's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh God, a weird speed. Please. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks. Uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great day. No, that's okay. Good night. You too. Fuck. Well, at least she was super nice. I said to keep the change. <laughs> Do you know what also got me? Like, while she was raging in the drive thru, I wonder if everyone else could hear her. The likelihood's pretty high. That was awkward. Do you know why it was awkward? Because they probably heard you raging and being super impatient about the dude who was in front of you. Get the one dollar banana. Just quirky things, you guys. Ha ha ha. What fucking one dollar banana? You didn't tell me about that before. She gets this hyper. Thank I've you. seen someone else, so maybe that's why I'm hyper. I've seen someone nice. Oh good, time for chips. <laughs> it makes it. I don't trust you with my credit card information. The lady wants me. Kristen, did you say no wheelchair? I, I want to go to bed. Oh yeah, it's a bit snug. 
It's a little tight around the arms, and I guess the top area. Ah, that fry went down hard. I don't necessarily Perfect. love the pearl bits. Ugh. Cats are cute. Make the whole thing Diamantes. The eyes made of pearls is weird. Ever happen to you? Sometimes you eat starchy foods that hurt your sternum. Like if you eat a fry too fast or a bunch of rice. Chew. <laughs> Hi, Stefkin. I'm hyper. Yeah, I'm hyper, so I need the edible sherry. Uh. <laughs> See, I'm not on crack. If I was on crack, I wouldn't have an appetite. Just chew. <laughs> That's what I'm doing, Jamie. I don't have any ice cream. <laughs> I got a fresh, shiny new wheelchair waiting in my fucking mailbox. <laughs> it's a very simple answer. Spinning hey, backpacks. Sam. Good to see you, mate. Hope you're doing well. Yeah. So anyway, I was listening to Dan Bell. Have you guys ever watched Not Another Dirty Room? Oh, Minecraft Crunch. Well, she's doing the Minecraft Crunching for us. <laughs> I have an appetite no matter what. <laughs> Angela! No. no, you're right. Okay, I think that was that was about it. That was just what I wanted to cover on that one because uh, Chantal continues to speak poorly of people, places, things, and concepts. Anyway, we're going to get into the big one today. Yes, I still love him. Now, I'm pretty sure things start to kick off at like the 1 hour 30 mark, so we might skip ahead a little bit. But anyway, this is Chantal. Hi, Foodie. How you doing? Um, Foodie's room's a mess, y'all. Foodie's room is a mess. You know what she needs in her room? Plants. And organization. And more bin bags. Filled and thrown out. Um, there are just like so many open cans of drink. Just so many. So many open cans of drink. But anyway, we're going to play a bit of I Spy um, during this stream, because it's fun, and we have fun here. Okay, Lottie, you reckon the first <laughs> hour? Do you reckon the first hour is safe? Mm. She goes away for a bit, <laughs> then she's here. I look like a fucking penguin. <laughs> you don't Hi, look everybody. like Danny DeVito at all. Look at my house. It's a sty. Okay, so... everybody. Okay, out, we're going to skip to the, like, 50-minute mark because she's cleaning. And I want to see the biz. More bubbly drinks. Okay. Again, I've been away for a couple of days. Can someone please explain to me the non-alcoholic apple cider? I'll wait. Why, why, why is there just a milk jug filled with apple cider in her room? We need to play Is This Pants? Oh, no, Marissa, I already played Is This Pants while I was making the thumbnail, because it was, um, not pants. <laughs> Turns out it was not pants. But day. No, it's not sparkling apple juice. It's non-alcoholic apple cider, is what she called it. It might not even be good anymore. Oh, have we got the bidet? The bidet's fine. All right. I'll put Wait, why is that box wet? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, how much farther do I have to go back here? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's going on here? You prepare, that you're prepared. Okay, I'm gonna go. She went for a drive for candy apples, came back with a fuck ton of apple cider instead. Ah, I see. Liquid candy apples. Got it, Lottie. I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> Put some laundry in. Okay, this is a box. This was the keyboard, right? That's the keyboard oh, box? Oh. Why are things wet? Why are things on the floor wet? <laughs> Hey, Professor Plum, thanks for being here for nine months. I appreciate you. Professor Plum says, so just regular apple cider? Well, see, you say apple cider to me, and I think it's it's alcoholic apple cider. Non-alcoholic apple cider is its own very specific thing. That might be an Australian cultural thing, though. Cat pee? Why is everyone yelling cat pee? That's not what non-alcoholic apple cider is. Oh, wait, okay, it's the box. Right, mm, what a surprise. The cats are pissing on the junk. What a su What a surprise. I'm shocked. Shocked, I tell you. Shocked. The cats are pissing on the boxes. Which means, if you think about it, right, I don't know if this is how the physics of it works, but Box Mountain, Box Mountain is it's, is a peak, right, lent up against the wall down in the kitchen, but because it's probably floating on a very thin layer of cat pee, also there are tiny moths everywhere, you know it's spring. So many bugs. Anyway, so Box Mountain is actually being eroded away by the sea of cat piss on the bottom. I feel like I feel like this is a science experiment gone terribly wrong. Terribly wrong. <laughs> terribly wrong. Well, I guess we can keep this. Can we? Why is it wet? 
Oh god, she's touching it. She's touching it and it's wet. Put on some gloves. <laughs> ah, yuck. Oh my god, there's stuff all. What is that? It's very factual, Mar Marissa. Look, we're going to learn something. We may as well learn something together, right? I wonder, is, is cat piss on the level of, like, is it acid? As vinegar, acid or base? Like, what happens if we add bicarb to the cat piss? Because we could make, we could turn Box Mountain into a full-blown volcano. I think we could do it. That'd be fun. Something spilled all over it. The fucking bidet. Okay, so cat piss is acid, like vinegar, and then base is like bicarb. Why are people telling me to shoot? She keeps, she keeps touching it. She keeps touching it with her bare skin. They're not even be good anymore. Hey, BB. That is science. Yeah, we're going to make a box volcano. All right, I'll put that aside and we will take it out of the parcel. All right, Sam. I got to clean up, okay? Chevy, use. Can you wash your hands, please? <laughs> no, please wash your hands. Please. Stop. Please. <laughs> She's not going to wash her hands, is she? Okay. So now it's not pee, it's not just pee hands. It's it's multi-special pee hands. It's just a reminder to everyone practice practice some self-care, practice some self-love, wash your hands. We got bags. No, she Oh god. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, I need to... But she licked her, she licked her hands. She licked, she licked her hands. Oh God. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> See, you say you think she scratched her face. I swear that went in the lips. <laughs> hold on, we'll re- Hold on, we'll, we'll play it. We'll slow it down. We'll slow it down. We'll check it out. We'll get old Detective Pulpy on here. Okay, ready? Y'all, I don't know. That's looking knuckle deep in there. <laughs> that's not. Take that screenshot, y'all. That I don't think that's just. I don't think that might be scratching her tongue. Uh, Bun, hello. Thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Bun says the man was too stunned to speak. Me. <laughs> uh, lots of people were too stunned to speak. Bun, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. No, her mouth is open. Huh? Either way, no, I agree, gloating. Look, don't touch your face and don't knuckle down in your mouth. Nope. That is an open mouth. <laughs> I'm not making this a poll, L, but I will. <laughs> Y'all, look at that! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I'm not doing a poll. <laughs> look at that screenshot! Look at that screenshot. That is. <laughs> she, exactly Mudslicker. Mudslicker says that she's licking her fingers to open the plastic bag. She is. So like you would lick your finger to open the page of a book, she's licking her fingers so that she can separate the plastic of this garbage bag with her multi-special pee hands. <laughs> oh, God. See? And then she goes to open it. That wasn't a scratch. I'm calling it now. We don't need to poll that. That's that's an obvious one. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Booty, thank you very much for the super chat, mate. I appreciate you. Booty says, thanks for that slow-mo. I'm going to go through. <laughs> Booty, I hope you don't feel actually sick, but also I, my stomach's kind of turning too. I feel for you, mate. Thank you for the super chat, though. Appreciate you being here, as always. Sorry about the shenanigans, but I appreciate all of you. Thanks. For thank you. Thank you. I'm cleaning my whole house. Take it, Celine. Take it and run with it. <laughs> when, when 
bag. Excuse me. Oh my god, I have clean towels? It's like fucking Christmas in here. Yeah. I don't know, Marissa. She's she's not talking about the very obvious wetness of that box. I would be. What's also where did the wetness come from? Like we understand it came from one of the cats, but like, is it seeping into the carpet or is it just like, is it just splattered across the 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 boxes on the floor? See, if I'd skipped too far ahead, we would have missed this. You guys want me to show you the gross stuff or no? Yes. Also, God, my stomach. But yes. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, oh no! We got some mold. Let's get up in there. Hold on. Yep, that's the face. All right. What do we got there? What is that? Hold on. I need to get the screen bigger. What is that for me, at least? What is all that? What is all that up in there? Definitely mold. Oh, where? What did she keep? Get? Oh, didn't she keep getting pies on this stuff? Pies and it was like the pot pies and the uh, the mashed potato and. Old gravy, yeah, the gravy stuff. Is that from? Is that that thing, Marissa? I, I feel like it's that thing. But what did she get in these little containers? Yeah, Lottie, good idea. Definitely would have needed dinner before this stream. Also, I'm sorry. Also, I appreciate you. <laughs> it's definitely furry. That's some mold. That's some mold up in there. And you know what? I can... I'm not great at cleaning out my fridge sometimes. Like, I keep pretty good inventory of my kitchen. But sometimes, like, just, like, a stray half a carrot will just go missing down the back of the fridge for, like, weeks on end. And then I'll find it and I'll be like, hmm, this is awfully smudgy and a little bit moldy. And I should definitely, like, get some spray and wipe in there and clean it out and, you know, put it in plastic and, you know, or throw it in the garden bed or try to compost it. Whatever. Um... But at the end of the day, this is takeout in plastic containers that is literally designed to just go in the bin after you're finished with it, not sit around in your room and get moldy. Oh, God. Oh, God. The air. The air quality. <laughs> no, Elle, I like all of you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Dark Rob Ducky, thank you for the super chat. Dark Rob Ducky says, it's not Cat P. She was mopping the carpet again. Dark Rob Ducky, I feel like that's a like likely story but also hilarious <laughs> hilarious if wrong or right thank you for the super chat <laughs> mm -hmm. oh oh that's bad that's bad that's not good that's bad june 2022 wait actually i can still use this oh the dollar store planner August, September. Yeah, totally gonna yeah. use it. I'm gonna use this to plan my life. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what was that? God, I wish you'd get up to clean. Like, you have the ability to stand up, so that might make things easier. This is. Garbage, mama. Is there a duck in the room? <laughs> oh, speed? <laughs> what was that? It's that speed. Oh, she was mopping up the cat piss on the carpet. Right, gotcha, Lottie. Oh, yeah. Jen, I mean, I think it's morbid curiosity. As long as you're using this for motivation in the right way, then it's fine. <laughs> it pains me that she has a... Um, a Fallout Boy bubble head up there, but that's okay. She's also got a jelly bean <laughs> dispenser machine <laughs> and books. <laughs> why? Why are you laughing? <laughs> why did you do that, Sam? Is it a smell? <laughs> She's confirmed. Nose blind. Confirmed. Oh no, god. Sorry. Oh god. What's all that stuff there? What's that then? Smell. <laughs> Good job, automatic camera. All right, let's get up in up in here. What's all this then? What's all this then? Um, trash. Just as I thought. I think it's trash. Mm, mm -hmm, mm. I'm sorry, Sam. Sorry, Sam. <clears throat> Laura, thank you very much for returning to the channel as a member. I appreciate it. Welcome back to Popstar. 
I hide my camera picture because it makes me ashamed. Like, the thing is, and I get it, like, I have lived in some not great, you know, setups. But, again, if you're questioning why you watch this, use this as motivation. Help, you know, throw some laundry on. Let the dishes soak. I don't know. Put some fresh laundry on. I mean, put some fresh bedding on. That's the word. Do something nice for you, because it's always nice to be in a nice space. Sam, thank you for being here for 17 months, my friend. I appreciate you. Sam Towns says, boop the snoot. Hi, Zach. Hi, right back to you, Sam. Hope you're having a great day and a great weekend. And thank you for the reminder. Chat, if you're here and you're enjoying yourself, and even if you're not, if you'd like to hit the like button, I'd appreciate that. Please and thank you. That's right, Indy. No worries. It's towels. Towels are always the thing I forget. Should I keep Tanetta? Yeah. I mean, I should keep Tanetta. No, don't mop your carpet, Marissa. That's weird. <laughs> I don't think that's right. Number one. This has to be washed. Let's go drawer by drawer. Okay. That's a hammer. You ever hear one guy to shoot hammers? Why are you... What, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why do I have a hammer? Why are you hamming, hammering at your your torso and your undercarriage? What are you doing? What are you doing? Throw everything out except Shannon Barbecue. What am I doing? BBJ. <laughs> Would you call BBJ Barbecue? Fupa hammer. Listen, guys. Get out of town. <laughs> I just want to kind of like, just like buy all new stuff from Leon's and have it delivered. I don't want to hire movers. But I'm either, I'm probably going to hire movers. To move everything in. Yes. You have nothing to move. You're not taking anything with you. Maybe your bed. So what do you guys think I should do? Do you guys think I should, like, just... Clean up? Everything I don't want to bring, just, like, to donate all. Who's... Who's... Ugh. Why not rent a U-Haul? Considering the amount of cat pee. Move to where? Our new place. That you haven't found yet. But it's definitely happening before the 1st of October, right? I know. I know. I know, Jay. And I want even mm. less stuff. I don't really care about stuff. That's a that's a direct quote, Elle. Put that on a t-shirt. And hello. Hope you're doing well, mate. Happy weekend. Thank you for the super chat. And says, I've finally done with all of my dishes, and I'll be done with my overdue washing, so I'm happy. I wish everyone a good Sunday. Good Sunday to you as well, Anne. Thank you very much for taking care of your health and yourself, and for being here, and for the super chat. I appreciate it. Thank you. I want to spend my money on Paneer. Hey, good Flash. Times. Good to see you. Well, we got to wash that. Matter sock. I, yeah, I honestly don't think she's going to be taking all that much. Maybe her bed, her PC, maybe the desk that it's on, the vanity, whatever it is. Pizza's going to take, like, probably his bed. Oh, wait, no. Are they moving in together or are they not? Still haven't been... Oh. These string lights, are they still in style? I guess I'll keep them. Oh my god. Okay. I should get a box. You've got a shit drawer, mate. Get the things out of it. Oh. Go downstairs. Put one of the boxes together. <laughs> put that in. S start packing? Question mark? Oh gosh, she's just got so much crap. It's overwhelming. Just looking at it. I mean, it wouldn't be if she'd pack down half of these boxes and throw half of the garbage out. I put everything in bags. I don't actually think she's got that much stuff. It's just everywhere. Bags are a lot easier to move, aren't they? Hey, Lucas. Good to see ya. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I have too much stuff. Oh, cool. Oh, my God. I lost this. Nice. There we go. Great, we'll keep that one out then. What a horror is right, I have to deal with this shit. McKay, welcome to Grand Court Music. Welcome back, Ready Set Rebees, McKay. I remember you, McKay. What do you mean moving is not an option? I have to move. I'm not staying here. <gasps> yes! Wet wipes. Oh my god, you guys, this brings back memories. Oh my god, this is not the point of throwing things away. Have a 
about we start with the obvious rubbish instead of like unpacking the things that you've just forgotten about, right? All of these cans of, cans of empty drink can all go. All of these un, like broken down boxes can go. Anything covered in cat piss, you can throw that out too. That's all rubbish. Throw it all out. Um, Bun, thanks again for Super Chat, mate. Bun says, still shocked my depression room is cleaner. Oof. Well, Bun, I hope you're taking care of yourself, mate. Thank you for the Super Chat. But also, um, yeah, shut. I don't know what it is necessarily with Chantel, but it's just not a professional. But for Chantel, it seems just like an avid unwillingness to like take care of herself in any regard, you know? Even just throwing out food that she's left out for a couple of days, right? And that's in multiple, like in her room, in downstairs. It is just bad. Bad. Anyway, I hope you're taking care of yourself, mate. Thanks for the super chat. And Booty, thank you for the super chat. Booty says, the good thing in the move is she's got boxes. She's got boxes till the end of time, mate. She'll be fine. She'll be absolutely fine. But whether or not she's actually going to use them is a different story. But we'll see. We'll see. Who knows? October is not far away. Thank you for the super chat, Booty. Hello, Jackie. <gasps> Yay, a whole new razor. This is the one I was talking about. This is the one I love. This is not how we clean. This is not cleaning. This is just finding things you've forgotten about, getting them out and finding new homes for them. This the is not cleaning. The last bag that I had from, I think, from his, his place. How about we stand up and start with the very obvious trash? Just go around. It brings back memories when I used to fart a fork. Oh my god, this fucking... Farm boy. This should have been the thumbnail. Didn't realise we found this. No. No, too, too much is going on. <laughs> too, too much. <laughs> this is an adult. Sometimes. I'm trying to heal my tragus. <laughs> Sorry about the hiccups. Baby's first photo shoot. I know. Please don't put that anywhere Everybody else. Did you used to do time warps? Did you just you put it in to... your ear and then clean the outside of an open wound? Just... Ew. Ew. Did that go in the trash? Sorry, Chantel. Did that one go in the trash or just on your table? Just... Help me help you. Also, what is in... Hold on. Do you all see in this as well? Oh, that's me. What's this? Are these used, like, Q-tips in here? These look like used Q-tips just sitting in this drawer here. Do you all see that? Maybe it's a cable. It actually might be a cable. It only makes me think they're Q-tips because she went and put Q-tips over on that side. Hmm. Okay, I saw... Okay, I'm getting she, better. She is yelling. I'm sorry. I'm going to turn her down a bit. Get help to clean up. Or up, who knows? It's, yeah. Oh, she threw it on yeah. the floor? Oh, thank God, she threw it on the floor, you guys. Elizabeth, thank you for clarity. Appreciate it. Well, oh my God. <sighs> and she has a bin right there. <laughs> what do you found, Chantel? Not sponsored. Not anymore. Hashtag sad face. <laughs> yes, that's where we keep water bottles in our wardrobe. Yes. I'm learning so many things. <laughs> Lambo's coffee! Lambo! You don't hate me, do ya? How can I charge this thing? Oh my god. Wait! <laughs> Wait, we've got a thing for this! Number one. Hold on, no, before. wait, Fruity, we've got a song for this. Pathetic. Someone told me oh God, you that guys. you love me. Come on, baby, come and show me. I'm so broken and lonely. I'd do anything for you. I think this is Baby, it. it's so easy to change me. All you have to do is claim me. Love me, touch from me, the Metro. and then break me. I just want to be with you. But you, yeah, baby, you don't love me. Oh. That's enough of that. All right, let's start. 
Let's push I it. didn't think would be. I didn't think would be flashing back, but we did. We put music. Or you don't want music. Yeah, Willie, it's a mic. It's a Which microphone. We put a reaction yeah. video. <laughs> it's a mic. Maybe, Lucas, that's why we need to keep watching. We could get a part two. Or we could get the part two. I'm sorry, Laura. <laughs> Is this espresso? Bloody, it's because I've heard it more than she has. <laughs> <clears throat> Elle, I think the poem really needs to be recorded and put to audio. I don't have skills like that, though. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Celine. Have a great day. All my perfumes. I'm going to throw out my drawer, too. Stuff in my drawer. So this is still good. You know what? And the thing is, there is something cathartic about, like, not necessarily hoarders, but, like, any of those trashy reality TV shows where people go in and are like, okay, great, we're just going to, like, clean your house for you. Um, it's a very niche, <laughs> a very niche type of program. But Chantel could absolutely do that. Like, I am, I'm not, bo I'm more bored listening to her complain about old mate and imaginary men than I am watching her trying to clean. Especially trying to clean just, like, all of this, like, dishes not necessarily interested in, floors and mopping and, like, laundry and that stuff. Laundry I'm kind of interested in just because I like to keep track of, like, what's potentially in the wardrobe for the future. Um, but this, this is great quality because I get to watch just all of this trash that I've seen accumulate over the last two years, like, finally you know, see the light of day again. That might be yeah. a me thing. Buy better bin bags. No, these ones, Vicky, these are the good ones. I've splurged on those. But you've got to put the rubbish in the bin bags and then take them out and make sure they don't go on your balcony just to, like, winter out there again. Chuck, chuck it all. Keyboard. Okay, you, that that's where we started the stream. <laughs> Not let, making a lot of progress today, are we? Hairspray, I still use that. Oh, God. How? <laughs> Oh, the wigs. Sorry. This is my piercing aftercare, so. Okay. So stuff I want to keep, but I'm not going to... Can I use this bag for the bedroom stuff? See, this is the thing. If you didn't tear into every box or bag you ever obtained, then yes, but you can reuse that. That box is fine. Oh, my God. Why don't I use this bag? Go for it. Get some bedroom stuff in here that, like, you know what I mean? How about you? everything that you want to keep, you fit in that bag, and if you can't fit it in that bag, you throw it out. Or, <laughs> I'll use my, my new ones. Why, what was wrong with the bag? FabFitFun. Why do you still have that? How long has it been since you got a FabFitFun? That was, at this point, it feels like years ago. Yeah. Medea. I'll use my FabFitFun. My dude. Believe me, the last thing you want to be doing is packing in the last minute. As if she even moves. I'm still know, curious. I mean, like, do you think I should Ooh, what's in here? No, but what's in here? I can see stuff. What's in here? It's like a treasure hunt. I was thinking of just bringing like nothing, just clothes, the makeup I wear. Dude, you're meant to be moving house on by the first of October, right? You have a while. It's okay. Or November. Did she say November or Same. October? But I don't want to just, like, like, should I just give everything away? You could potentially give stuff away as long as it doesn't have, like, a thin film of, like, weed smoke oil on it um, or cat piss. Those are the two kind of, or mold. Okay. Three, three start conditions. Yeah, right. okay. Let's three start condition. step by step. So we have to... Oh my god. <laughs> it's like right. hurting a bag of cats. But it's one cat. In a big bag. Who doesn't want to clean. <gasps> Purple wig. Yeah, that's where that lives. Just unopened boxes of shit. Throw it out. My lush bath stuff. You'd never use it. Oh my god. I want to get a place with a nice silver tub. You have a bathtub, dude. Just because you keep blocking it up with kitty litter doesn't mean you don't have it. Sorry, chat. Just so basically, I made up my mind. I really want to. Snot. Snot's the other one. Yes. 
Or hair fibers. Okay, there's five conditions. I want to get a Poshy downtown. Montreal. Thanks. Hey, Empress. And Queenie, hello. And Sue Flute, hello. Hello, everyone. But... How about we throw this food container out up here on top of the computer? Just triggering it in its own way. The king is taking away from cleaning. I know. Oh my god. It's not even cold. It's warm apple cider. Not warm, tepid, tepid apple cider. Dude, eat an apple. Ew. I could use this bag to put stuff in. Throw it out. <laughs> Oh my god, this misshapen black love heart purse. That you could donate, because I feel like that's not got cat pee on it, and it's relatively new. I always check to make sure what's in here. Or put back in the trash. Okay. Honestly, with all the change and all my purses, I could probably go to Cuba again. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> she did find change, Lucas. Number one. My cute hats. I think I'm going to wash this. Probably this a good idea. This is a scarf. Mm, could be washed. This needs to be washed. Oh boy, <laughs> that is this fucking scent. fried. I'm going to do all my wigs, condition them. <laughs> Why in the fuck do I have lethacin powder in my drawer? I don't know. What were you doing with it? <gasps> oh, Ew, God. there's parsley on it. Chuck. Oh, this is a prop for my channel. Then wash it. Ew, gross. Ew, ew, ew. No, throw that. <laughs> Morning, you think I throw away that wig? Hey, Pat. Good to see you. There's a lot of maybes going on in this stream, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Zuflu, it was lesser than. Why it wasn't downstairs, I don't know. That's, well, L, that's partially true, oh, yes. I have a whole fucking toolkit. That's pretty cool. Oh, because she was making weed butter in her room? Well, that makes sense. That's just, that's just good pantry keeping. Oh, thanks, Open Drawer. Hello. No worries. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Lovely to see you. I have a toolkit for myself. We've been watching you on stream today. Yeah. I forgot about this. I thought they were Q-tips, but it turned out to be cables. So. Uh, Trauma Dumplin', always a pleasure. Thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Trauma says, Poppy, look at me. Look at me, please. I've got one word to, <laughs> got one word to say to you. Sorry. Jump ahead. Got one word for you. We're going to need more bin bags. You're absolutely right, Trauma. We are going to need more bin bags. Maybe she should just hire a skip. Do you all know what a skip is? It's like one of those big bins that gets delivered on the back of a truck. It's just it's basically a dumpster. Think a dumpster without a lid. A skip. Um, she needs a skip, and the skip needs to go, like, behind the apartment, just under her balcony, so she can just, like, yeet things off into it. Just, whoa. That's what she needs. Thank you for the super chat, by the way. It even has these zip tie things. In case people want to get fucking... In case people want to mess around. This is a beautiful thing to see. Lottie, did she have this? Did she have this while they were putting the baker's rack together or not? I hope she did. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's fair, mate. I appreciate it. Thanks, Joel. I got a work kit, see? Well, she's on ground floor for entrance and then first floor for the um, kitchen living room and then second floor for bedrooms and laundry. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it's not. Well, I mean, you probably could use things in there, but I'm not... I don't, I'm not Lucas said she didn't use it? Oh, but then again, we know there are sick individuals in this world, don't we? 
Gotcha. This is some Watch kind of mess. Camera. What is this box? Do I need the box? Yeah. This is just a reminder to anyone out there, like, any tech boxes that you have lying around thinking you're ever going to use it again, just throw them out, mate. You're not going to use them again. It's okay. You could reuse them. You could, but if you haven't reused them by now, you're probably not going to. You can throw them out. It's okay. Whenever I move, I will... Wait, what was in that? Okay. Uh, Jace... Josie, sorry, my eyes are playing up. Josie, thank you very much for the super chat, mate. I appreciate it. Josie says, first off, not a hoarder. Just moved last week and did a massive purge. That's nice, mate. I brought four carloads of stuff to the charity shop. It felt amazing. I agree. I tend to, um, well, first of all, thank you for the super chat and thank you for doing that as well because um, uh, donating to, to charities will make good use of it. Always a good thing. Um, I tend to do it once a year because I was, I was, it was drilled into me when I started to work on myself that if I haven't touched a thing in a year, it's not worth having. Like, if I haven't made use of the thing. And that's not like, you know, like things in frames or things that, like, touch keys and cute bits. Um, but if it's something that's functional that I actually haven't used in over a year, I really should give it away. So, like, some of my old winter stuff, for instance, I hadn't touched for years because I was like, oh, yeah, no, I'll fit into that maybe one year. <laughs> um, and then when I did a big purge, I was just like, hi, um you know, charity shop, here's, here's multiple bags of things that I have not used in over a year, and I hope someone finds, finds use for them, which was great, because I, I gave so many pairs of, like, good shoes away and stuff, which are, you know, hard to come by for people, so, yeah, big fan of donating to charity. <laughs> Clout, thank you for the super chat as well, Clout says, I look at her the same way I look at the people on Hoarders with their donate piles, no one deserves to have anything that has been in that house. Oh, no, I would, so many of, the, I think the only things that might be sal salvageable for donation would be things that have been like unboxed or sorry not removed from their box and not touched then again there's cat pee everywhere so maybe it is a harder thing i don't think yeah i don't think there's a lot in this house actually no that's not true like the kasori was only really used once and the baker's rack was pretty much untouched um, so if those things could be cleaned down like there's and you know she has she well she used to have an entire appliance graveyard before she donated that as well um not in a good way there are there are probably things that could be salvageable but it would require a lot of disinfectant and i yeah i wouldn't trust a lot of it though but thanks for the super chat guys it's just good to have oh actually that's really smart lady i never even thought about that see i kept like an ipad box for like close to a decade the iPad's great, but I just never found a use for the box. Number one. Alright, we're packing down a box. Love to see it. It's a rare sight here on the Foodie Beauty channel. And she's chuffed. These are not pants. These are not pants. Oh yeah, the second coffee machine. Does she still have that one, Lottie? Well, she see, she could give this toolkit away because she's never using this again. So what do we got? We got toolkit. We got the Kasori oven. We've got the second coffee machine. We've got... I feel like she's got some tea appliances or something. Yeah, definitely the baker's rack. Brandon, I'm a big fan of pair. I'm a big fan of pants. Yes, no, I'm a big fan of pants. Yes, I like pants. Pants are good. In the UK, these are pants. All right, so not international pants. These are specifically UK pants. What do you mean full screening this, Marissa? Um, this isn't full screening. This is. Th <laughs> no, wait. You're right. That was full screen. This is the zoom. This is the zoom. But we're just gonna keep. Just gonna going to keep it here just <laughs> i'm sorry brandon i couldn't it's fine look it's not it's it's fine it's not it's fine, it's fine. she found a peanut <laughs> sorry can we just look if we're gonna broadcast ourselves on the internet can we just wear some pants 
Not not UK specific pants, just pants. <laughs> pants. Just good pants. Some good healthy pants. <laughs> Mm. Lucas, yes, Coldy's there. Coldy has been found. Oh no. I know we bought this together, but I'm throwing it out. I don't care what you say. Bought it together with who? I don't care. You can get rid of your nipple pumps. It's fine. The less I see of them with you, the better. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. That's true, Jesse. See, she could be wearing the yellow dress, and then we'd all be in a little bit of a concerned state. What's this? What is this? Oh, it's a hose. Is it going in the bin as well? Okay. Don't need that, I guess. I don't like this, 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 this thing. What is this? Oh, it's a jewelry box. Oh, this is nice. This she could donate. It seems relatively clean. Or, you know, used, because she actually does have quite a bit of jewellery. Did you, I'm sorry, miss, did you just throw that faux felt jewellery box filled with jewellery in the bin? Can we just... Hold on. Can we, can we just watch this full time? Full time? Full time. Yes, full time. Okay, no, you did. All right, cool, 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 cool. Because that was... I could probably... Oh I should have a yard sale. No, you shouldn't. You should just donate stuff like that, foodie. Someone will pick that up for five bucks or, you know, someone could use it as a gift. Yeah. I'm gonna... Or put it back into your hoard, whatever. I'm going to prepare everything to sell. If it doesn't sell, I'm going to donate it. That's never going to happen. She's... It's all going to end up... Bill. It's all going to end up in a bit. A yard sale. You're not doing that. What should I say sale. about this? You're not doing that. And if you do, be careful. Also, I might need to put something aside for me if she does a yard sale. Bye, foodie. Okay, bye. All right, anyway, uh, I'm going to skip ahead to when she comes back, which is not long away. Just got to find the... There we go. No, I agree, Pack. Because where's she going to hold it? Like, out in the car park? Oh, Marissa, you're right. She could put her boss necklace in there. Put the microphone do down. <laughs> Just put it down. Mary, you're doing too much and not enough. It's a unique problem you have. Keyboard. Put it here. <clears throat> Throw out the junk, make some space, stand up, organize. Donation bag. Rubbish bag. So this is what I plan on doing. Getting mm. the shit together. Well, I've been enjoying it for a time, but... She gets bored soon anyway. It's okay. Cause... How long has that Pepsi can been there? It's a rhetorical question. I've not been having it together. It's like, how long's a piece of string? Who knows? That's correct. Bella says you have to clear a space to organize when you get to this point. Well, I mean, you should chuck out all the rubbish first. Do I need this? And then organize. Oh, boy. Oh, no, that's gone in the bin. Have we ever... I think we saw her wear that or try to wear that one time. Great purchase there, foodie. Well... Oh. That's a pair of scissors hiding in a piece of material. That's weird. Actually, I don't think it's dirty. Can I just... Oh, yeah. I'm going to wash it. I can't get over Fruity just ripping circles in her chair to clean. It is just bonkers. She's got more boxes, boxes at the top. These are not. These are. This is trash. What are you doing? She's driving me bonkers. That's what's going on. Oh, I forgot about this shirt. Rock and roll. Okay. 
cats were sweating on the box? We found the box? We found the box. Oh my god. Oh no. I can give someone control of this. Oh no. Remotely. <laughs> Dude. I gotta find this. I think it fell behind the bed somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Have we given up cleaning now? Is that what this is? Give control to Roman so he can buzz you when he wants you to join his panel. Alright, this is where <laughs> she gives up. Any mods up for what job? Throw that away now who's not interested. Who are you talking about? It could be anybody. <laughs> That's up for pay. Really? Yes, that was an adult toy. I'm doing it wrong. So, she have, so far she's showed two adult toys. Two? Yes, two. Can we each tell you one thing to do and make it a game? Okay, I'm pretty sure... Oh, wait, no, she goes you again and then she comes <laughs> back. Oh, no, wait, we'll just bring it back. Because it might have been here. Here-ish? Somewhere here. Uh. <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> no, Ch oh, no, Chubby McBoost wants to come up here. Come here, Sam. Sorry, guys. Uh, did you poop? Yeah. Great. Thanks for sharing. It's the falafel. <laughs> Ew. All right. What else are we going to do now? Good morning, Amanda. Lovely to see you. you. Hope you're doing well. Happy Sunday. I got to clean all my closet. Look at this. What's the point of even cleaning right now? You, you just tried. You just tried it and then put boxes back in, which was confusing. Still this is not cleaning. This is just shifting crap from one That's surface pathetic. to another. Jesus Christ, what is all that? Hold on, wait, is that a pee jug? Chat. Chat, we've been here before. What's that? What's that? What's that? Is this another pee jug? Is this another pee jug situation type of moment? Style of deal? Lane says, yep. What's well, it's poop jug 2.0. Sorry, I got cat pee on the brain, so I went straight to pee jug. But it is poop jug 2. Okay, cool. Well, no, okay, Lindsay. So the law of the poop jug, which I misremembered as pee jug because we we're talking about cat piss. The law of the poop jug is once upon a time on the Pulpy Syntax channel, we were watching a stream. And it was a stream similar to this where Chantal was cleaning. And all of a sudden, there was a jug and or a vase. And I'm pretty sure it turned out to be a vase. Because we talked a lot about it being a vase. But it was filled with this ominous liquid. This ominous unknown liquid that kind of looked like liquid poop. And so we named it the poop jug. Um, it took a long time for us to kind of get down to the idea that it was just a jug where Foodie had poured all of her open liquids into it. But the name stuck. So we continued to call it the poop jug. And now, this is the, the reintroduction and reiteration of the poop jug. This is how much liquid Foodie has in open containers in her bedroom. No wonder she has fruit flies. My god. Anyway. And that, that, is, the, that is the deep lore of the poop jug. You're welcome. Who wants a sip of that liquid? Boop, you are 100% correct, yes. Good. I just don't understand. She's got a bathroom literally, like, steps away. You're saying bin peas? Yes. Big way. Oh, you're right, Marissa. Didn't think of that. <laughs> Turning his prick orange? She doesn't eat cheesies. Hey, Haz, good to see ya. Why well, would I so accept help to clean? I don't know, I don't like people, other people cleaning my mess, you know? I skipped the shot, oh no. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, big boy. Yes, big boy. 
I mean, it's not a shot jug, thank God. That would just be too much. All right, what now? Downstairs time? Oh, yes. Uh, miss, you haven't cleaned anything. Pizza's bathroom? <laughs> Professional cleaners have seen it all. Is that what you're going to say? I know, go to get that full, full fat coke. Honestly? Delicious. Oh, I don't know. Oh, sorry. The spray went in his face. You know when you pop a can in the little bits of spray? <laughs> sorry, Sam. The bubbly cans. That's when I was emptying over there. I gotta get them all out. I got a bunch of them. There's a couple more. No, not a literal P and It's just not a good day for no, Sam. No, just in name only. The at all. Yeah, I mean, I don't want people cleaning my mess. I'll get around to it. You all keep saying I <laughs> no. skipped the shot, and I'm, you're tempting me to go behind. No, it's not that. I don't Not behind. That's a different thing. Appreciate. It's just I don't want other people to clean my mask for me. You know? <clears throat> I farted on him and scared him and dress it. Can we throw in a can before opening another one? <laughs> Sam got gas, then sprayed with a Coke. Yeah, I'm taking a break. I don't just know, don't even know I need the extra help. Yeah. I just don't even... Look, if I wanted to watch... Shoddy McPoop pants make a very particular action and sound. There, there are a couple of them we could watch. No, like I think once I finalize where I'm moving, I'll be more. Doesn't need to be today. More motivated and excited, and I'll be able to. I'll get everything done in like a day. Like the last time I moved here, I got everything done in a day. A day. <laughs> I have almost two months, so I'm not too too worried. Azora, yes, yes. Like Pete's does yes, still live there, yes. Yeah, we need to before it gets everything. It was a very wet shot. Okay, Salva, how about this? I'm not going to rewind, but you all can feel free to describe the shot in detail in the chat. And I'll read it out. We're on the ground. Keep a garbage can in your room. Little by little. No, chips get them not. What would you prefer? A dramatic retelling of the shot, as told by the audience, or it on video? I think we could do more with the dramatic retelling. Kept leaving that stuff at BB's. Doesn't need to be a retelling. Give me just just give me a descriptive paragraph and I'll read it out. Can you read it in your foodie voice? Uh jar of lemons, you know it. Yes. Shouting McPoop pants is what I call Shanta when I'm not calling her foodie. Yes, you're correct. But if I open the door, the air AC is gonna be loud. Poor carpet. Will there yeah. be shapes? Well, I mean Shoddy shapes? Oh, my chin hair is bad. <laughs> Sorry, Savitri. Shot my last apartment could get this bad at some times. Yeah, when I'm depressed. Yes, Brandon. Yes. The, the many shots of Chantal. No matter where you move, if you don't fix the problem. A poem. Well, I know that. Send an email to help clean and pack it works. Oh, okay, Meg. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Meg. I really appreciate But pack, what if we need to talk about the shot being metaphysical? Metaphorical? What shape is a shot, though, pack? Let's unpack that. Appreciate it. If Foodie's shot was a shape, what do you reckon? Probably like a circle, because it comes and goes, never ends, and is pretty much inevitable. Always returning. Jenny, that, you're so sweet. And you guys have, like, you That's guys have offered to help me. In a Probably not like a triangle. A shard is not a triangle, because that'd be pointy and rough coming out, you know. I really appreciate it. Don't throw too much. I don't have a damage deposit here. We just pay last month's rent when we move in, and they just take that. We have insurance. Oh, okay, it's an ink block test. Right. So, <laughs> chat, I would like you to all answer this question. It just... Close your eyes. Close your eyes with me. Close your eyes with me and Foodie. Look, close your eyes. Close your eyes and imagine. Imagine just uh, chilling on your couch or sitting at your computer desk or sitting at the bus stop watching your phone. And as you do, you're watching your stories. And there you see the one, the only, the incomparable and incomparable Chantal Marie, Miss Foodie Beauty on screen. And you may be watching or you may just be listening. You may be out there being productive. And all of a sudden, you hear the very familiar wet sounds of a shot. And you think to yourself, hmm, what shape is a shot? Why are the clouds wet? And why is what I'm hearing also kind of wet? <laughs> uh, so if there's any super damages, they feel... They change the carpet. Like, when we moved in, they change the carpet, everything. Okay, no one's closing their eyes to imagine Chantal's wet, sloppy fart. I mean shot damn it wear and tear things that they do here automatically they're going to change the carpet 
Um, they're gonna fix that tile. I mean, I didn't think it was a tile. I thought it was linoleum. There's no major damage to this place. Like just because people think there is, that you haven't been in this house. You don't. Filthy carpet, broken lino in the in the kitchen. Um, the kitchen drawers are all like splintered and coming off. There's no like major major damage, but my god, getting this place clean will take time. I don't know. Like you see clutter. The clutter, the garbage can all be picked up, and underneath it, there's... Ooh, an interpretive dance, Lucas. Now you got it. Normal carpet, <laughs> you know? So, I mean... What is shotting? It's not like I hoard and don't clean for years and years. It's like I maybe go... Shotting, that shotting is most, wobbly. You know? And then I do a big cleanup, and then I get the price again, and it's a never-ending vicious cycle, and it becomes overwhelming. It's not just overwhelming, it's just I don't... Shotting is not pointy. You know? like... <laughs> so what I want to do is get to where... Like, this is art, Lucas. <laughs> I know people thinking moving location won't make me happier. I think it will because I don't feel like myself right now. Living here reminds me of before Natter. People think like me before Natter. I don't like me before Still Natter. Still shapes. Okay. I'm not saying after Natter. I don't like that. I'm not saying that I, I love this Fair enough. person I am now. But I have done a lot of like, I was a big food addict before. Hey, ATP. I still am. But that's all I cared about. Like all my days were spent on waking up. What am I going to eat today? You know. Hey, Capone. Good to see you, mate. <laughs> Gen- I have had a lot of caffeine today. In- um, yes. No, nah, he didn't destroy me. Are you kidding? I'm still here. That experience with him put me through a lot, but it's not going to destroy me. It doesn't define me, and it's not going to take me out. <laughs> so, no, it doesn't. Emily, what is shouting? Shouting. You said you want to move to Montreal Look, because it's 24-7. Shouting has a lot of meanings. Shouting, shouting is that, that, that feeling that you get both existential dread and um, just the, the wonderment that is life, you know. Shouting's different to each and every one of us. Eats. That's one of the reasons. Why did I stop cleaning? Everything's gonna be all Oh, right. Lucas, nice. Yeah, nice. You win. <laughs> you win the internet. No, I mean, like, yeah. No, I didn't. I don't. I'm learning to love myself a lot more each time. Like, that's the whole point of life. Like, life is a journey. You know, we have to work on ourselves and always try to improve ourselves. Blah, blah, blah. And we backtrack in life. It's not light. Progress is not linear in life. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, the, the important key thing that Foodie tends to miss out when she's having this conversation with her chat um is that you actually have to do something it's all well and good to sit around about how many changes you're making you know things in your life that you want done differently but until you actually do anything about any of those things you're not doing anything about any of those things you know what i mean j rose hello mate thank you for being here for 14 months pleasure to see you today j rose says i sense incoming cabin in the woods arc i don't I honestly think she's probably going to move in with mum. That's what I think. But we'll see. Thanks for being to. here for 14 months, Jerry's. What about Amy's life journey? Help, email with helpful cleaning strategies for depression. Oh, thank you, Meg. You're so sweet. I'd appreciate how you're always sweet to me. Your self-esteem is zero. No, I don't let men treat me like poop, Mila, though. That's the thing. Be- yes, she did just pronounce linear like Pania. Yes. yes when I, before I met him, yes, my self-esteem was shit. And I would just let any man treat me like that. Now I see, now I have more boundaries. It's still a work in progress. So I still don't see all the red flags you guys know. And you're like, hey, okay, you're doing the same thing. So. I don't let, I don't want to be cheated on. No, Ross. Copying whose life? These are conversations to have with a potential partner, not your internet audience, by the way. I'm trying to copy their life, but they talk about me on panel for hours a day. Oh my God. Please don't move to Montreal. It will be the worst thing that will ever happen to you. You're at a crossroads right now. You can choose. I honestly don't think she's moving to Montreal. She keeps talking about places out there and how expensive they are. I don't think it's happening. Change yourself. Why will it be bad? I don't understand. I want to get like a nice posh condo. Nitty, yes. For myself. Like I want to be alone. <laughs> I want my own place. Morning, Stephanie. And he's doing the truck pull. Oh my god! Okay, your son, we are going to wish it that he wins at the fair. The tractor pull. The truck pull. <sighs> because he is there. Oh, that's fair, Indy. Oh, that sounds good, Emma. Enjoy your third dog walk. Beats gives you your bath? I don't even know who that is. Ch- uh, rats. Ew, this stinks. 13 soap, unlucky. 
Moving can be a growing experience. It could be good for you. Life is for living and you're stronger now having gone through what you have. Yes, Jack. Thank you. He won? Ben. Good luck, Ben. I know you want to help Pete, but does it ever stress you out having to be responsible for him too? Well, yeah. I mean, being, you know. You are both adults. You could, like, be responsible for yourselves. That'd be great. I, uh, not I, seeing a lot of that for a long time on this channel, by the like, way. But that'd be good great. On our homes and we told you Nader was a piece of shit and you didn't believe us. It's true. Now you're telling that being so close to him is a bad idea and you won't believe us again. Your ex came today and picked up all the stuff I had of hers. It was reminiscent of the CPAP rescue. Oh, no. Well, it wasn't too bad of an experience for you, Amber, because CPAP rescue was certainly was. I was so fucking mad. Alimony. Morning, Carla. Hello. I don't know, Cookie. Also good to see. What would be going no forward? Idea. Moving to a boring ass other place with Pete again in the same thing in a different place? I'm thinking I can get my own condo in Montreal. I can date different men and have all the privacy in the world. I can go out and do all kinds of things. A new location to film videos. Like, I'll just have, like, I just know that I will just... I'm sorry, y'all. We have watched Foodie... Leg Look, we have watched this individual drive to Montreal, like, on pretty much every other day. Did we see anything of... I mean, okay. To be fair, we did... We did see the Botanical Gardens that one time when she was trying to, you know, repaint Old Mate's image, which was pretty much the last time we saw him with her um, <clears throat> on camera. <clears throat> um, no, miss, look, the thing is, it doesn't matter where you move to, you, your problems are always going to follow you because you take yourself with you, you know? You're not the type of person to go out and show your audience pretty much anything, maybe once a week, maybe once a fortnight, but you moving to Montreal realistically is just an excuse to find more men in the fashion that you do. Okay, mate. Go for it. But why bother painting it as anything else? Why bother? Feel more optimistic, you know? Don't ever let anyone make you feel guilty that Gonads has a YouTube page. You helped him because you loved him at the time. <clears throat> um, hey, what a surprise. Lottie. People, exactly. I loved him at the time. Can I afford two apartments in Montreal? If they're affordable ones. <laughs> there is reason to move to Montreal. My family would be closer. It's the next biggest city. I've explained it a thousand times. You guys... She doesn't care about her family being close. Sorry, that may sound rude, but she has never cared all you guys that. hear is natter 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 is living with Didi. so what makes you think that he's we're even ever gonna she he claimed her they're together so why do you say that we would even be together it's not gonna happen ever here you go i didn't know i didn't see natter honestly montreal is a lot cheaper to live in too guys than, than ottawa well j rose she changed the stream title to say that yes she still loves her. And it begins branded. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, but if I wanted, listen, it doesn't matter if I'm in Montreal, if I wanted to. Yes, they are, gamer. I agree. Seen him, you guys know I would. I do not enjoy her chat whatsoever. Drive Much yourself. prefer it over here, personally. I don't know what to do. That's correct, Cold Wet Snow. Move. Fabulous name, by the way. Place in Montreal by yourself and have you. Yeah, well, I'm going to help. I, he, if he doesn't want to move to Montreal, like let's say he said I want to live in Cornwall, he, I would help him find a place in Cornwall then. He wants to be near me. You're Montreal for Natter. You're doing it because you know that when Natter and Didi finish, he'll come to you. Don't do it, please. No, I don't want to be with. I don't want to be with Natter. That's not why I'm moving. Honestly, Jay, I know. It's weird considering the name of the stream. That's not why I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. Anyways, ready, set, repeat. I know you guys are worried that I'm gonna like move and. There you go. She will be with him longer than I was. I agree, so this baby. is her thing now. Why am I even part of it? Linda, hello, friend. Anymore. Good to see you. There you go. He's on Tinder still. Chat, I forgot to mention. Did you know Foodie has a tattoo that says fries? Just <laughs> Because it's matter. Just, just in case it doesn't come up in the rest of the stream. Like, I don't hey, know Jojo. if she thinks that it's going to be any different, but Jay of Cornwall has no idea what they're talking about. Montreal is a big city. There's other reasons to go. Exactly. I understand their concern about him being there. And I know you guys know me and you know how I feel. And you know I'm no desert highway. I'm not going to block you ever. I need to help him too with Trixie. Like, I need to help him be his friend. And... But yes, I just want him to be happy too. I'm not helping Pete. I'm hurt. Yeah. He's going to help me clean today, but I want to help him figure out what he wants. Like, where do you want to live? What do you want to do? But I want to move to Montreal, but this is my dream. This is not his dream, you know? Is this your dream? 
Montreal arc will bring in some new drama. You know, it would be new drama every week. Every- I don't know. I feel like Pete should find a community group to start meeting with, start talking to, start unpacking things with. If you can't find professional assistance, then find professional assist- assistance in a different different way, you know? Because, like, I don't know. He's, he Pete just comes across pretty aimless, and if all he's doing is following around Foodie in whatever decision she makes, I don't know, man. That doesn't seem like much of a life. Dave. For daily orange julep, Amanda's got it. You got it. Golden girl. Like just chasing after your mate for them for, to live in their shadow seems really weird. Matter is not a one woman man. It's really weird. But he told me he was. No, he'll say, he, he'll say I am until I find something better than the one. That's like, like pretty much what he said. In other words, and I was like, uh. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'll bump into FFG. These are to be fair. You texted him less than a week. I don't know, ACP. It feels like a couple of weeks ago she was talking about Jamaica bees. A week ago. Croatia bees. I... Turkey bees was definitely off the table. Of course I understand people. East Coast bees? People skepticisms. I do. But I still want to move to Montreal because... Morning with Like I said, shoulder. there's also a lot of other dudes that I talk to from there. Hope you're doing well. You know, and I'm dating right now. I'm single. I want an exciting cosmopolitan life. You know? Plus my favorite clothing store is there. And... Yeah. Again, it just seems weird considering how frequently and happily she is spending gas to get to Montreal. It's weird. Weird, weird, weird. (laughs) UK bees, you're right, Leo. No apple bees. It's the apple bees, I'm telling you. I know. You know you're going for him, but I'm like the angel. I'm gonna vlog. I'm gonna vlog a lot, Jack, when I get there. I want sex in the city, but without the walking. <laughs> Let's get a scooter and scoot down Mount Royal. Come on, it's gonna be. A oh, new please do that. New yes. Change. Foodie on wheels. Pete wants to live with me. He's happy with the way things are. I know, Rhonda, but like, I'm I'm not really. <laughs> this is a conversation to have with Pete's, not your internet audience. So. Oh my God! Please just be a responsible adult. Actually, have open, really honest communications with your housemate. Wherever he goes, not... What are you doing? No. Sit down and be like, Pete's. We're done. Also, probably have had this conversation a while ago. No. No. Do you guys want to do karaoke tonight? Because he thinks you're moving out together, and I feel like you're just gonna like smoke bomb him. Can someone message Didi and ask why matters on Tinder? Is he on Tinder? No, he's not. I haven't seen him. Pete's would live with a Trump supporter if it meant he could be a lazy ghoul and not work. What did happen to the fashion show, Bella? That's a really good question. <laughs> what happened to the mall fashion show we were going to get with Foodie? Oh, hate on Pete. Pete, that's not true. He told, Last night he came down and said how he was felt bad that he hasn't been helping anymore. And I said, that's fine. We're both in a rut. We're both similar. Get the fuck out of there. You're too cute in there. Oh, you can't see. Cute. Is this going to work? <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. When the moon hits your eye like a big beater pie, that's amore. I have a bottle of wine. Let's get ready for tonight. Let's get ready for tonight. Oh, you will be here in my arms. Pathetic. Ready for tonight. Oh, seasons change, bees. As the seasons change, Sarah Jane says. Sarah Pathetic. Jane says, eight cents on tide. Quick. Really getting that sound bite down, hey? Yeah. It's great. <laughs> Zora, thank you for the super chat, mate. I appreciate it. That's very kind. Not at all required, but very kind of you. Thank you. Zora said, hope Pete doesn't move with her. I agree. Hope she is just using him as her personal butler. Oh, doesn't move with her. She's, there we go. She's using him as a personal butler, even though he doesn't realize it and he's not a good butler to boot. This weird relationship isn't helping either of them, in my opinion. Zora, I 100% agree with you and thank you again for the super chat. I don't think that, like... I understand Pete's doesn't necessarily want, like, the most exciting, the most vibrant, the most, like, stuff going on, and that's fine. But I honestly feel like he's... I don't know. I don't... I don't know, but it... And I didn't... It's not like we were watching Pete in... A Pete's in the same capacity that we do with him living with Foodie now. But I just wonder if there's, like... You can't rely on someone else for literally everything in your life. You, you just you just can't. 
not when you have the capacity and capability to like go out and learn new things and like speak with new people and make new friends and work different jobs and do all of these things. And I don't know, ever since Pete's left his work, it just seems like it's all become pretty monotonous and not a lot going on. Um, and unfortunately that is one of the, the caveats with being besties with Foodie, who's, you know, providing everything in this situation is that Pete's has to do everything for Foodie. Yeah, I don't know. It seems weird. I don't think it's healthy at all, but who the hell am I? Thank you very much for the super chat, by the way, Zora. I knew I had a charger somewhere for this fucking thing. Oh, really, Linda? I swear a slug does more in life. Oh, I got an <laughs> update about really depressed. And... Oh, she asked about runway bees in? Ooh. <laughs> Wine bees in? Yes, deciding to transition is very big. Yeah. I feel bad, like I need to be there more for him, you know? He doesn't believe we're moving. <laughs> If she's clean. <laughs> Aunt Janet's free pomegranates. <laughs> Sarah Jane. Her mukbang. I don't watch her. It's like, even when I liked her, it was like watching paint dry. Like, okay, so. I'm going to take Luna for a walk now. Pete's lived with his mom. Or no, he had a place uh, up here. He rented a room. So Halloween will be the eve where you move. Mm -hmm. Horsey Jane is boring. <laughs> I still think, I don't know. I still question whether or not the move is going to happen because she hasn't spoken about actually finding a new place. But, and October is really not that far away now that I think about it. But we'll see. <laughs> We you know, when I check Monty's band on Sarah Jane's speak, I check if I set the video on 0 0.5 speed on accident. I always think of you, Applebee's, every time she's when I hear her speak. I don't watch their band all. Like, sometimes I, like, tune in very briefly. One time I tuned in to the beginning of one, and this freaking crazy woman, like, something with, like, eyes in her name, she, she comes on screen, she's like this, hello! She fucking looks insane, like, crazy. Like a psycho. Can Pete's apply for some sort of disability? I don't know. He'll end up in a room again with strangers. <laughs> no, he's not going to. That's why. <laughs> I got him. Again, I just don't think this codependency thing is really all that healthy, considering, you know, everything. But whatever. Do I delay the beezing? You do you. Psycho shamer. <laughs> Doe eyed. More like psycho eyed. Co friggin' kooky is right. Monty said I was on steroids. He's such a loser. <laughs> oh, remember Winnebay? Oh, man. Better times. Of course. If anyone they don't like does anything good, it's they have to shit on it like a bunch of fucking high school mean girls. He needs to first get an assessment. This is all boring stuff to talk about. I don't like talking about life stuff. I don't like doing life stuff. Talking about life stuff, doing life stuff, talking about other people. We're not here for that. How about I just entertain you guys? Okay, great. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not doing a good job at that. Maybe the rat guy's looking for a roomie. Marcel. His name is Marcel. Sergeant Meg, I'll have you know that Foodie's the world's largest empath. According to her. The stream from yesterday was so cringe. They're all At cringe. Some point. They're all cringe. I'm the most awesome, awful person, but I occupy hours of their day. I was doing great cleaning. I was going to say, oh, she can't sit with us. You think so, crisscross? Thought it a bit on the nose. That's why you are in this predicament. You avoid the tough subjects. <laughs> yeah, Rakai has a name. <gasps> Sexy bots. <Okay>. Marcel. <laughs> It's called the Wee Vibe. And I would never compound. That was. You guys um, want to take turns? That was just coincidental. <laughs> I'm kidding. 2 p.m. Start drinking. Yes. No, I'm kidding. Spicy Korean rice cakes. Oh my god, that sounds so good. Okay, we might just jump, jump place ahead to that. I just have the cans. I gotta go empty. Well, that's pretty much all the rubbish. See, all the rubbish is gone. That's all the rubbish. There's no more rubbish. Uh, all those Absolute bags. Rubbish. I didn't mean pizza Half of this shit can be thrown out. There's to help this cans of bubbly out. up there. Oh. Well, now... I'm not gonna... Yeah, I don't want to look for apartments and people find out where they are. That's why, Angela. <laughs> How to unban, Ve unban Vegas all. Yeah, I don't know why. Let's... Oh, skip it. Don't care. Keep it pumping. Foodie beauty. People trying to... This woman who looks like a fucking hamster. 
old footage shows Foodie Baby bragging about making YouTube and watch. Is that what I'm doing? Am I bragging? Little hamster. I would be loving him. I would do anything for him. So yes, making him a fucking YouTube channel. Oh good, we're reacting. Yay! After he fucking guilt tripped me for ruining his reputation, well, at least I'll make a YouTube channel, blah, blah, blah. And like I said before, I didn't even really have to help him. There you he go. Said, I'm going to do a YouTube channel. I pretty much just said, so bragging about making Natter's channel? How is that bragging? And I was like, all right. And he fucking clicked. It's not this clip. I think it's the clip after this, but. The there you go. He clicked the button. He made his own platform without my help. Every single thing. I literally made the account. Helped him set up his AdSense. Um, requested the pin for his AdSense. Put the pin in when it came. Edited all of every single video that's recorded on there. I edited it. Yep. And filmed. And the majority of his <laughs> audience is my fan base. So where did you make your own channel? Gosh, that's hold on. We'll we'll wind it back because that's a little confusing, isn't it? Right. And he fucking clicked a button. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you mm -hmm. go. He clicked a button. He made his own platform without my help. Every single thing. I literally made the account. Helped him set up his AdSense. Um. Requested the pin for his AdSense, put the pin in when it came, edited all of every single video that's recorded on there. I edited it yep. and filmed. And the majority <laughs> of his audience is my fan base. So where did you make your own channel? There you go. Past Chantel is definitely making some points there, Lottie. Yes, you're right. <laughs> okay, so now, now, yes. Mm -hmm. Did I help him make a channel? Okay, you can stop yelling though. Yes. So now, the, the real question is, and so what? What do you mean, so what? <laughs> no, but it's true. Like, what is your point by saying that? You platformed him. You know, at the time, I was in love with him, right? Right, but all of this happened um, after abusive in every way in paperclips, right? Right? That timeline, right? Abusive in every way was first, and that definitely happened before platforming. Paperclips, I feel like maybe that didn't happen before platforming mm, timelines are hard that was before he was outed for all of the bad shit uh no we knew this dude stabbed two people and went to prison and was abusive in every way all around the same time that you platformed him and tried to paint him in a very particular light and then there's also clips of you out there being like no i've only brought the bad stuff online i've only told you the bad stuff but everybody has a good and a bad side and now you know i'm just helping him with his channel to show his good side in which case you were manipulating both your audience and potential new audience members who are vulnerable audience members because they don't necessarily know how abusive in every way that this guy is even though you told the audience about it and so because we remember that we're the bad people, but you're just trying to clean up his image on the platform that you made for this dude that he wouldn't have without you, and he wouldn't have the attention of vulnerable audience members without you. Have I got that right? Have I got... Is that right? I think that's right. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, got it. So, how is it my problem that I helped him make a channel? How is that my fault? And furthermore, like, honestly, right now I'm going to tell you I literally, like, again, create channel. That's, like, the extent of it. You click a button, you fill in the form. This isn't about creating the, the actual channel. This is about the fact that you produced Old Mate to look a certain way by filming his videos, by editing his videos, by uploading his videos, by talking about him on your platform. And the, the wild and bonkers thing is, is that... The reason why the majority of the audience who was still there for the old mate like situation, the reason why we were so confused and frustrated is because on any given day, we would be told that old mate's the best person in the world or the worst person in the world. And a lot of us, being cynical individuals who don't believe a word Foodie says because when she's talking and breathing, you know she's lying, um, was that, yeah, he seems like a dangerous individual and why do you keep going back to him? We didn't, we didn't necessarily start thinking of the implications of this individual being platformed by such a large channel as Foodie Beauty until, you know, like the May stuff happened. And that was terrible. Um, and that was really confronting. And then Foodie, like, tried to clean that up for him as well. Oh, the timeline didn't make sense to me. Yeah, but you, you, pr you produced a false alibi. Like, you told your internet audience that it couldn't have been him because of biological reasons that are uh, just, <coughs> pardon me, just so false. Um... So, no, Foodie, like, you can remember specific things and we can remember specific things. But at the end of the day, this is less about who created his channel and more about 
who who was the one supporting and encouraging a dangerous individual on the internet? Nitty, thank you for being here for five months. I appreciate it. Nitty says, does she honestly not remember all her own rants? No, she doesn't, because she kind of rage blackouts, I feel. She doesn't remember a lot of what she says when she's, um... When her mood is heightened, you know. I think she fully remembers. She just plays dumb. But Nitty, thank you for being here for five months, my friend. I have exactly. I had nothing to do with Natter being a dick on YouTube. Uh, yeah, Lottie has an important note saying, "I would also like to take this moment to remind people that Chantal is the also the reason why his members are called friends with benefits." Which, given the way this turned out, yeah, not good, mate. Not good. Not good at all. Boo. 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 Jen, hello, thank you for being here for 15 months. I appreciate you. If you have a message, feel free to uh, to at me. But we're just we're just going to hang out and get gaslit by Chantal. Join us. Join in. It's a good time. It's a bad time, but it's a good time. But how do I platform him? How can you platform somebody? You literally cannot do it. YouTube is the fucking one who has a platform. No, I didn't know what he was like within weeks. No, I didn't know he was cheating on me. Yes, you do. You knew exactly what he was like within days when he offered you a mystery magimathical meth pipe dude you were there you told us this guy this guy got you high on like everything you parachuted molly with this guy and he was like meth will help you calm down here you go just huff on this one just this one time though we knew exactly who this dude was then he was boohoo crying to you because he stabbed two people allegedly in self-defense what a crock of shit that was um oh i need you i need you Dude, we know exactly who this person is. And then you decided to teach him how to how to live stream. That's how we got here. No, I didn't believe he was cheating on me. He hadn't fucking abused me at that point yet. No, it didn't. Uh, yes, no, yes, he did. The abusive in every way happened really early on. Come on now, let's not lie to everyone. No, it didn't. Yes, no, it, it did. didn't. Yes, it did. I didn't give him an audience. Who is the one watching him? You guys. There you go. Uh, I'm not fucking watching that trash with a 10-foot pole. Hell no. Um... No, not me, booty, not me. But this is the thing. <sighs> you set him up, you produced the content, and you pointed your audience in the direction and said, go and support old mate. That's what happened. That's what you did. Just accept it. And I think you need to accept it. And look, even if Chantel, this is all hypothetical anyway, but even if Chantel took responsibility and said, yes, I did this thing, at the end of the day, there's nothing more that she could do apart from show remorse and regret. She's not good at either of those things. She's probably not going to do that. Um, but she could quite easily sit there and say, I know it was wrong. I did a stupid thing. I, like, I, I was conflicted about liking him and not liking him. But again, at the end of the day, Foodie can't actually, actually logic her way out of this conversation and so it just incessantly comes down to everybody's wrong and i am right oh you have a choice not to fucking watch him right there you go youtube platformed him youtube is the one who makes the decisions to have somebody on their platform or not yeah he didn't necessarily fall into like the the yes algorithm of youtube so you can't necessarily get mad at daddy g or susan about all of that um, no, instead, how about you take some accountability and you accept the fact that you were producing his content and telling your audience and encouraging them to go and subscribe, go and watch his content, do all of those things. That's just what happened. Reaction channels have brought people to Natter's channel. They're to blame just as much. Ah, uh, absolutely not. People choosing to cover mess on the internet is one thing. Somebody sitting there and editing, filming, uploading, turning the AdSense on, doing all of that shit is an entirely different thing. Reaction channels react to what's on the internet. Reaction channels make a choice, right? Just like everybody, you make a choice of what you watch. Reaction channels make a choice of what they react to and what they watch and what they talk about and do all of those things. But at the end of the day, please stop being hyperbolic and arguing that reaction channels are the same as what you did. Because that's... No. What you did was be a producer. You produced his content. That's what you did. You encouraged your audience, many of whom were vulnerable, but supporting you, um, to go and support him. And that's just the truth of it. Didi is the one who talks with these women with him on Messenger. I had no idea he was even talking to women on Messenger. That is also a lie because you came online quite often and told us that old mate was talking to other people on Messenger. 
trying to find a way for your hug, bo- hug box rather to tell you that it was all fine, he definitely wasn't cheating on you, you have nothing to worry about, boo, when in reality, the logical people sitting in the background screaming into the void had it right. Again, not true. So, Repsion is gonna look like a dumb fucking idiot. Nope, don't think that's gonna happen. Think Repsion is probably gonna produce a piece of content that's pretty well, um, pretty well researched. Probably pretty safe on the major narrative talking points and the history and the timeline of it all and it'll all be put together rather neatly once again i'll be interested to see what's kept in and what's cut out because you know content is that way um but no foodie i think and that's the thing as well is that i'm curious much like the buzzfeed articles which were a lot obviously a lot less um serious in tone and nature to what's actually being discussed at the moment. But I'll be interested to see whether or not there is an influx of new watches and whether or not it just results in more people supporting Foodie in the weird way that VIBs do or if we'll get, like, a fresh wave of audience members in Girl World. Both are are possible, but I wouldn't pretend to know, at least until next weekend. We'll see. Victim shaming and saying things that are not true. Good morning again, BB. Hello. Which I will fucking prove with receipts if I have to. Ah, oh, God, no one cares about your stupid receipts that don't prove anything apart from the fact that you were seeing him when you weren't supposed to be. You were seeing him when you were crying that he was abusive in every way. We know. We sat through the entire thing. You do not need to provide receipts to that. We know. We believe that. Thank you. Thank you. Who cares? I promoted his channel when I was with him. Yes, I did. What does it have to do with me being responsible for him fucking grooming people? For me being responsible for his behavior? Like, that's so fucking stupid. This is fucking ridiculous. You- it's not his response. His his actions are his actions, and he's responsible for those. But you are not accepting responsibility for the fact that you encouraged a vulnerable audience to go and interact with this dude. You cannot blame me for someone else's behavior. A hundred percent. Great. Gonna blame you for your behavior. Reaction channels keep him relevant. Why else do they want to block? do that stupid fucking blackout? Uh, I don't know, mate. That wasn't discussed with uh, the Council of Reaction Channels, so I have no idea. No, I had no idea about that. I just started getting yelled at that I wasn't participating. I didn't know about it. Hey, Milk Tea, good to see you. There you go. How did I promote a channel? I was with him at the time. I was in love with him at the time. Doesn't matter. So how does that... Also, the fact that you keep arguing you were in love with him at the time really does bring us back to a whole ass year ago when we sat here and argued, this doesn't make any sense. How can you come crying to your internet audience every second or third day about how awful this dude is and yet continue to go back? And that is really the sticking point in my logical brain. How does that... Like, he was doing cooking videos. None of the content I helped him with was bad content that hurt anybody. So again, what's your fucking point? Like, you literally... Because you knew what he was like. You knew that he was reaching out to audience members on messages. Remember Eyebrow Lady? Remember Twerky, Twerky Mick Eyebrow Lady? Um, That was pretty early on in the relationship. We knew that Chantel's first run-in with an individual, multiple individuals at the the Crack Shack was uh, the woman who got really frustrated. First meeting Chantel, that was on the first day. Then the vulnerable individual with the candy wrappers slash condoms who was hanging out on the porch um that was the second time then uh everything that happened with may that was a thing and then ffg obviously had a lot of input on um on knowing some background stuff like there was a lot there was there was a lot foodie there were a lot of big red flags and when we're talking about those red flags they weren't necessarily red flags in regards to your own safety but just like the general safety of individuals who choose to be around this individual because once again this is a person who stabbed two people and went to prison have this man on a platform and instead of like you just want to look for someone to blame and you're putting the blame on the wrong fucking person oh no we can blame multiple people for multiple different things that's what we do here it's fine you're just being stupid and fucking ridiculous you're being stupid or ridiculous who cares if i edited his content who cares if i filmed it it's cooking where does that make me responsible for him abusing people jay of cornwall you dumb fucking idiot where does that where's the link a and b where you're not responsible for his actions but you're responsible for essentially making him known what do you not get about that? What do you not get? What do you not get? You can't be so oblivious to not know that you have an audience of vulnerable individuals, Chantel. It is like, come on now. You're not that dense. Um, 
But at the end of the day, you took your VIBs and you pointed them in the direction of a dangerous individual and said, go, go and support this individual. And unfortunately, in this corner of the internet, there are also individuals out there who like to mm, engage in the real world. And I, I like my real world. I don't like Chantal's real world. And that's why I encourage watching, not touching. Um, but, you know, the people who like to poke and touch and engage in real world stuff, then it all kind of kicks off. And then we see, you know, then we see threesomes and people who are engaged or best friends. And then we see, you know, there's just so much real life that goes on in this corner of the internet that's bonkers McGee. But also understanding that it happens means that you hold a sense of accountability to say like, hey, maybe just like keep it online. Where? Yeah, because I thought the timeline was wrong with me. I didn't believe it at the time. So. <laughs> All right. Lottie's coming in with dates. Love dates with Lottie. Lottie says, abusive in every way was the 7th of August. Paperclip was the 10th of September. Happy anniversary. Oh, boy. Um, first video of Oldmates channel was the 15th of September. I was right then. Awesome. Thanks very much for the clarification, Lottie. I appreciate it, and I appreciate you. So it turns out that Paperclips and Abusive in Every Way both happened before Old Mate had a channel. Oh boy, what a surprise. What a shock and surprise. That's surprising. Lottie, that's surprising. Thanks for the dates, Lottie. Appreciate you. We still don't know what fucking happened. Is it likely? Well, yeah, probably, but we don't know what happened, so... Yeah, who's responsible for you being an idiot? Exactly. I guess that's my fault, too. How was I wrong? No, I wasn't. How was I wrong? No, because I wasn't wrong. What am I going to admit? What am I going to admit? I'm not responsible. You're basically saying that I'm responsible for his behavior. So where am I? No, that's not what a lot of people are saying. I don't know what her chat's saying, because her chat's her chat. But over here in reality, I'm going to say that, no, he's responsible for the actions that are taking place and everything that's going on around all of that. But you are responsible for your actions in all of this, which include pointing your audience in a direction to go and support an alleged... Well, an abusive individual, um, and paperclips. So there it is. Am I responsible for his behavior? Where? No, you guys, I only talk about the bad stuff. You only see the bad stuff, but he's good. I swear he's good. All of that conversation from Chantel came about because he kept saying to fix it, right? Remember, we were told that Chantel, the only reason why I, I told, I said to you that he was, he was good and he was, you know, kind in this way and that way was because he kept telling me to fix it, fix it, Chantel, I needed to fix it. So instead of taking accountability or walking away from the entire situation being like, fuck no, you decided that you really needed that green in your life and said, no, I'm going to double down and convince my internet audience and manipulate them into thinking that this abusive asshole is a good person and to go and support him. That's what I'm going to do. That was your choice. That's what you chose to do, Chantal. This, that's, that's the reality. You can't watch anyone's content, giving them views, and then complain that they have a platform in the first place. Because if it weren't for me, none of his behavior would have been outed either, right? Uh, oh boy, this is a big talking point. He wouldn't have a platform, right? For anyone to fucking know about him, right? Just because you don't have a platform on YouTube doesn't mean you're not known. You can be known to law enforcement. You can be known to journalists. You can be known to just your local community as, like, not a great person. Um, you don't need to be on YouTube, if, and you don't need the world to know how abusive and problematic and dangerous you are. If the local people know, that's enough. And guess what? The local people did know because he went to prison. He was also in anger management and all of this stuff happened. So please stop acting like Saint Chantal fucking Marie over here thinking that, no, I put him out on the platform and I am responsible for that. If you're going to say I'm responsible for that, I will take responsibility for it. But his actions are his own and mine are mine and the world would never have known what an abusive asshole he is unless I platformed him. False. False. He was convicted. He was sentenced. He was put away for stabbing two people. That's That we could have known and been like, that's a dangerous individual. We're going to not touch that. We're going to step away and disengage. But no, you decided to sit on your channel and produce his food content and try to paint him as a good person. And then, low surprise, your audience, well, part of your audience, decided to believe you and go over and support him. And that's manipulative as fuck, and that's what you did. Period. <laughs> That's all it is. He didn't need a YouTube platform. Do you know what some people do? Some people don't, like, find abusive dickheads and then set them up as a good person and then, like, 
do everything that you did with the police, which is an entire different discussion. You going to the police saying that there was abuse, telling the stories, doing everything, and then deciding to revoke all of those stories because they did in fact happen, but you desperately wanted to be back together with him. So it either did or it didn't happen. We know it did happen, which sucks for you. We all get it. But also you decided to rescind all of that. And instead of like actively working to put the individual away, you decided to be a selfish person and say, no, true love, true love trumps all. And we are in love and I am buying him an apartment or renting him an apartment and we will make things work because you know what? It wasn't abusive, but you know what? It was abusive because you went to the police and it could have stayed there. And the fact that you kept flip-flopping on this bullshit meant that people were in danger. That's it. That's what it is. Foodie could have sat here on this platform and been like, don't contact him, don't support him, don't go anywhere near him, he's an abusive dickbag, he's manipulative as fuck, don't, don't do, do not do. But she couldn't disengage, so how would she be the type of, how would she be an individual to tell her audience to disengage? Uh, hey who, thanks for the super chat mate, I appreciate you, who says she did not expose him, she complained about him when she didn't get it her way, yes, while trying to convince everyone he wasn't that bad. 100%. 100%. And, and ultimately, we are where we are because of actions that Chantel took, in at least what we watch from Chantel. So again, eat shit. Matters wrong, exactly, not me. Not me. I didn't ever, ever suggest to him, make a YouTube channel for yourself. Or maybe I did. So what? At the time, again, do cooking. You want to do cooking? Do cooking. I didn't know he was talking to all these women. How is that my fault? How is it my fault? You pla Sorry, went on a bit of a tirade there, chat. I formed a monster and placed him in a position to access more vulnerable victims. It's true. That, that chat, I had a point. I was one of his victims at the time, you dumb fucking idiot. And how did I platform him? Platform him. Because you kept encouraging your very large audience to go and support him. Did I platform him? Nader al Shami going to scam women right now? You're in the wrong. You're. Ah, uh, okay. This is a weird hill to die on, but okay. You're in the wrong. Because when I when he made his YouTube channel, he was not the person everyone saw in those Sam's Bar Lounge videos. Was he? No. He did cooking. Ah, uh, he didn't need to be. We knew he stabbed two people and you called him abusive in every way, you numb nut. We didn't need the physical, we didn't need to see the actual physical evidence of him being a total dickbag to understand that he was a total abusive dickbag. Unfortunately, we did see all of that. But we, the large majority of people didn't need to see all of that to understand that he was not a good person, Chantel. Dear God. Videos. He made tahini. And this was before he fucking was abusing me. This was before I seen him be extremely abusive towards me. Uh, false. False. Timeline false, proven by the fabulous Lottie. So, he said he was going to make a channel himself. Exactly. There's no enabling. Didi's not an enabler. Nobody's enabling. He's doing everything on his own. Everyone needs to stop blaming people. It's fucking bullshit. You need to get a life. You need to get a life. I mean, I've got a pretty good life. Thanks, man. No. No. I did. Yeah. So what? So what? I was in the middle of an abusive relationship. Okay, but which one is it? Either he wasn't abusive or he was when you set up the channel. Now we're getting down to the particulars and semantics, which is BS, because we all know the truth, and this is just stupid. No, she didn't know his abuse, because I talked about every single thing that he did. And Jeff Right, so he was abusive before you set him up on the channel, all cozy and neat. Got it. Cornwall, it doesn't fucking matter if I never outed it. It doesn't matter if I out if I don't out his abuse, if I retract the charges, because a little bit of research for someone who thinks they're right all the time would show you that that's what happens when you're in a fucking abusive relationship. Yes. But no, you're saying I'm a shitty person because of the actions I do while I'm in a domestic violence relationship, which I did nothing wrong, giving him a fucking platform or whatever you want to say. Okay, but you had you hadn't been in that shitty relationship for a while. <clears throat> and <clears throat> pardon me. <clears throat> There we go. And I'm not going to harp on too much about that, right? It's quite clear that being in the relationship with Old Mate really fucks with Chantel. But at the end of the day, Chantel painted herself and the relationship with Old Mate to be very different ways, depending on literally which day we were talking about it. So at the end of the day, just take some accountability, acknowledge the fact that yes, you set him up, yes, you pointed your audience in his direction, yes, you knew he was a shitty person, and to probably not have done that, but we have argued this point home for literally over a year now. Something that Chantal shouldn't have done, but she did do. He fucking clicked the button himself. Create channel. Create channel. Nader El Shami. Show that he had his own fucking AdSense. 
So he made his own AdSense. Did I show him technically how to do it? Yes. Did you edit all of his footage? Yes. Did you record everything? Yes. Did you buy all the groceries? Yes. Did you point your very vulnerable audience in his direction? Yes. Did you know that people would reach out and talk to him? Yes. Because you're not that ridiculous that you don't know what this corner of the internet looks like for you, Chantal. Dear God. Big fucking deal. At the beginning of- Also, wasn't this the person who was just like, look, this person's calling in about farts. Haha. <laughs> look, people are calling in. Ooh, people are calling in. People are calling in. People are messaging him. He's got his profiles public. Ooh, people are messaging. People are talking to him. She was all about that shit. She was all about that shit. She encouraged people to engage with old mate in so many ways. Of our relationship when I was in an abusive relationship with him and helped him make cooking videos. I did not talk to any women with him behind the scenes. None. No women. No, I can't delete his channel. No, I can't. You're wrong. This is the thing. All you fucking low life pieces of shit Oof. think you know something and you don't know fuck all. You don't know fuck all. She, I don't think she has access to Old Mate's channel now, but she definitely had access to Old Mate's channel before the CPAP rescue because she deleted the stream and that's what kicked off the CPAP rescue. At this point, I did not give him a platform. YouTube gave him a platform. YouTube gave him a platform. Thank you. Thank you. YouTube gave him a platform. How is it my fault that he's on YouTube? You still haven't explained. Okay, I think I explained it pretty concisely, though. Natter is responsible for everything he does. So what? Even if I gave him devices, I'm not responsible for his behavior. I'm not responsible for his behavior. That's correct, but just because you're not responsible for his behavior doesn't mean you're not responsible for setting him up on the platform and turning your audience in that direction. Just take accountability for it. It's really not that hard. This is, it's all in the past and there's nothing you can do, but you could literally sit here and encourage your audience not to engage with this dangerous individual. And maybe somewhere, someone would listen. But you've never done that. You've never said, don't talk to old mate, don't engage with old mate, don't watch his content. You've never said any of that. That I didn't even know was going on. You are fucking stupid. I mean, takes one to know one. How am I responsible for his fucking thing? Yes, you are a low-life whore because you're another fucking dumb victim shamer. Take your dollar ninety-nine and fuck off. Thank you. Who cares if I paid for his phones he would stream with? What does that fucking matter? I'm still not responsible for his fucking actions. That I didn't know. Existed. Bet you did, because you told us before you set up the channel. Exactly. She was dating this guy and was doing what any person would do for their partner. He hadn't been outed at this point. Thank you very fucking much. All these videos trying to like, oh, Chantal knew about Natter. Now they're trying to fucking victim blame. That's all you're doing. And it's disgusting. And I hope you all fucking burn and rot in hell. This Thank isn't you. victim blaming. But if you are like, if you are in this, in this situation, I hope no one is ever in this situation, by the way. But like, if you're in, in a situation where you are like, are telling your audience or telling someone that you are the victim of this thing, that doesn't necessarily just forgive every action outside of it. Do you know what I mean? Like... It's kind of like the way that she talks about mental health and the way it's kind of a shield for any type of criticism. Dear Foodie, unfortunately, your actions do do draw criticism. They do, and they draw discussion, and I, I can't necessarily relate to a lot of stuff that Foodie's talking about in this regard, but at the end of the day, if you can't get over... can't If you can't get over the fact that you do hold some accountability to it, you, I don't I don't necessarily see Chantel being able to process any of this healthily and move on. It's not a sense of reality. It's weird. But he has a note saying, pre-old mate Chantel. Old mate and Chantel sat on a live stream on her channel while people called in, notably an Aussie lass. Oh god, that's right, the Aussie lady who was married? We called her Sheila Lottie. That's stereotypical, but we absolutely did. And you bragged about him getting calls because they heard he was good in bed. Yep. Yep. So Chantal encouraged her audience to engage with Old Mate in ways other than watching on a screen. Lottie, you're telling me that Chantal encouraged her audience to engage with Old Mate in the real world? Shocked. I'm shocked. Shocked. Now I'm just listing all the things that happened pre-Old Mate, Chantal. Well, I mean, maybe that's a better way to go. <laughs> maybe she's forgotten and she needs to be reminded. Uh, BB, thank you for being here for 19 months, mate. I appreciate you. Thank you for your patience. I'm sorry I got all caught up there. BB says, I think we don't need Andy Cohen anymore. It's a shame. It's a shame because Andy Andy would be a great host. But also getting all of these people in one room together would be a dumpster fire nightmare. But if we could get Andy Cohen. 
That's like a pharmacy. Pack, thank you for being here for 20 months. Pack says, another month, another rage. This one feels different though, Pack. I don't know. I think it's because like the Repsion stuff's happening and she's probably going to like, maybe she'll do a reaction to it. That would probably be her smartest move in all of this. Um, but I'd be very, yeah, I'd be really interested. I'll be really interested to see what happens how the conversation turns after next month. Because again, for, for us being so deep in Girl World, um, I don't know if anything will be like groundbreaking uh, when it comes to like, shocking revelations because we were all we're all kind of living it day to day and again i'll be interested to see what's included but i'll be interested to see how foodie takes all of that because i just don't i just yeah yeah i just i just don't know it'll be curious but we'll wait and see we'll wait and see are all the mods sending their milestone messages it seems so lucas yes yes 20 months seems i think we turned everything on like 20 months ago oh boy what is time what is time? Filling a prescription and then being blamed for the addict's drug use, drug abuse. Right? Of course. They're trying to make me rage, but I'm trying to, no, I'm proving that they're wrong. They're fucking dumb. Like, how do people not, like, understand how dumb they are? How am I responsible for his behavior? That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. <laughs> you're not, but you're responsible for you and your actions, dude. Can we just I want acknowledge that, yeah, please? So That'd be great. This. No, and I'm not- Also, chat, while you're here hanging out, if you'd like to hit the like button, I'd appreciate that. Please and thank you. Letting people make me feel bad about my feelings for still loving him either. Whatever, I do, fuck whatever. I don't give a fuck. Hate me? I don't give a shit anymore. I'm not apologizing for how I feel. I didn't stop his behavior? How can I stop his behavior? You guys are fucking stupid. Jesus. Lucas, thank you for being here for 18 months, my, my friend. Toot. Thank you for the toot and thank you for the poop. I appreciate you. Lovely to see you. Oh, I see, Lottie. Okay. No, sorry, I didn't hear that last bit. Could you? You are stupid. I'm not responsible for his behavior. Yes, you are. Bree, thank you very much for being here for 12 months, mate. I appreciate it. Bree says, not a mod, but here's my milestone. I love you, Poppy. Love right back, Bree. Thank you very much for the compliment, and thank you for being here for 12 months. Happy anniversary. Pleasure to see you today. You are saying I'm responsible for his behavior. And I'm the sole reason he's... Uh, Sin, yes. Specifically, she was part gay most recently. Um, that I remember. Yeah. Targeting women. A tall Russian lady, I think, was the last conversation. <laughs> like, what? They think you met him and instantly knew his entire past and his personality as if the same person who lies on his stream 24-7. You had a conversation with FFG about what he was like. You admitted to him being abusive in every way. You admitted to having to require a safe word with your audience to contact the police if in, in case anything ever happened, which ended up being paper clips. Yes, all of this happened before you platformed the individual. Evan wouldn't lie to her, too. Chantal helped him access a service he continues to make the abusive content on. Every time he was abusive, Chantal told her audiences that were watching him. Every time he was abusive to me. It's true, you did. Every time he was. I came online and talked about it. So if And then you would turn around and edit his content to produce him as a super cool, super professional head chef who was also an astronaut and sailor. Anything. I was outing his abuse. And, and then literally the next day you would turn around and make a cooking video for him and tell your audience to support him. So now you want to fucking blame me because you need a fucking drama channel because you're a low-life piece of shit. With no it's not about blaming you. It's just being really confused as to your actions, mate. Take some accountability. Just accept the fact that you made them. Find a way to make them better. Move on. Nothing better to talk about, right? Then I have so much better things to talk about. Y'all, I put my side table together today, but I know that's not what you're here for. Blame, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what you're saying. That's exactly what you're implying. It's not for her to stop Natter doing what Natter does. It's like blaming someone for something their friend or neighbor does. Yeah, we don't know him behind the scenes, BB. What are you talking about? We don't know him. It's stupid. Be he loves me behind the scenes. Remember, he loves me behind the scenes. Because I'm not. I, Flora? Oop, Flora's pissing her off. Get it through your thick fucking head. Careful, Flora. Beautiful hair. Do I work? Hey, Lachine. Good to see you, mate. For YouTube? No. It's been a while. I'm still barely out of these fucking throats. I'm still in this. You guys see- What is this? What is this movement? You and I going back and forth, all this shit. I'm still in this abusive relationship. You know what? I'm just gonna fucking say that. I'm still in this abusive relationship. No, you're not. You're really not. You're really, really not. She's really not, right? She's really not though. If you're being impacted by the trauma of past abusive relationship, I understand that. Um, perhaps find a way to unpack that Speak it out with a professional, find a coping mechanism, find a healthy way to work through all of that. Um, you are not in a relationship with this individual. You're not. 
Dear Foodie, you're a nincompoop. You know what you could do? You could introduce a banned word to your channel. You could ban the word Nada and DD and every other word that he goes by and the DD goes by, right? You could do all of that and then you could healthily engage with your chat and say, guys, I don't want to ever talk about old mate or DD again. I just don't. I can't do it. I can't talk about it anymore. It's really hard. I know that's what some of you are interested in. I don't want to. And she said that before. She said, I'm never going to talk about them again. I'm not talking about them again. And then never follows through. Oh, but that's all my chat wants to talk about. Well, it turns out that things are pretty boring. And uh, yeah, the people who are here currently, 18 months into the drama of Old Mate, are, are only interested in that, which sucks. Super sucks. Um, but maybe like encourage better talking points in your chat. You know, like poop jugs and cat piss. Uh, but you won't. Because you know that this gets your attention and it's kind of a vicious cycle. And it sucks that you have to go through it, but you're choosing to focus on him. You're choosing to watch him. You're choosing to talk about him. You're choosing to do all of these things. And see, here's the difference. People shit, people who shit on me, because some people do, um, about watching Chantel and being a bully. Um, it's not about being a bully. I watch Chantel and I'm encouraged and motivated never to end up like this ever in so many ways. Chantel may watch Old Mate, may watch DD, may talk about all of that stuff, and that's really toxic and hard for her, but she's not actually doing anything positive with any of that stuff. At all. She says talking to a chat is therapeutic. This isn't therapeutic. This is just fucking hate, rage, Blah. That's what this is. So, like, find a better coping mechanism, walk away from all this drama, because you're not in it. You're not living with this person, you're not sharing anything with this person, you don't, you you are literally in a different bloody city than this person. This person holds no ties over you, apart from you both continuing to talk about each other. This is just sad. Sad, sad, sad. I'm not fully out of it. So fuck everyone, alright? Thank you. And if you don't want to be here, I don't care. Like, That's fine. How am I going to delete this channel? Am I YouTube? You're putting all this fucking responsibility on someone who ha does nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. So you've got nothing to do with it, but you're in the abusive relationship. Make that make sense. Uh-huh. Ham hat, I don't think... I don't know, man. It would take a special special kind of therapist to be able to do all of this. It's like I As a non-professional. Like, how can I delete him? I don't have his password. You people think... You people think believing that things that aren't true is not my problem. That's it. That's it. So there. Yep. Nobody tells Natter what to do, exactly. Thanks. That's... Okay. Whatever. So... Buttons. Hold on. I need to leave you with her for a moment. Um, this one, I think. Yeah, they're just looking for someone to blame now. Oh, this person... Like, he, whenever I put him on YouTube... Whenever he was on YouTube... I was editing cooking videos and hoping to do fucking... Uh, Couples things with him. That's about it. That's about it. You know, I'm ignoring you from now on, Jeff Cornwall. I'm not going to block you because you don't bug me. Because what you're what you're saying is not true 100%. <laughs> you're just fucking pathetic at this point. So thanks for your money. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was just like, it's fucking stupid. Did I know what he was like then? No. Considering you have the power to delete any YouTube channel you want, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know, right, Jack? I just have the power to delete everyone's channels. People may as well contact ALR and tell her delete him if this logic. Yeah. You don't like him? You fucked him. So you're responsible for all of this. You loved him. So you're responsible for all of him being on YouTube. No. No, because I was just going through things too. I didn't know he was abusive at first. No, I didn't. I've never had experience with someone like this. It took me a long time to finally admit to myself that's what was going on. You know? Did not know or believe he met May when he was accused. For fuck's sake. She was so delusional she don't have to believe. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. Exactly. Very I'm delusional. Sorry. I honestly thought he did not sleep. I'm sorry. I I, been, I was listening. I'm sorry. With Didi for, until I heard her say that. I was like, there's no way. Because of how adamant he was. Of how manipulative and liar he was to me. The whole time. So. I'm just here for the ride. Your semen retention is showing. The point is, even if she... Nice if, if she knew, Even if she knew he was abusive, she's not responsible for his actions. Everyone involved is an adult. Exactly. Like... I, they're basically, are you really going to say that I'm responsible for him fucking victimizing a fucking 80 year old woman I didn't even know he was talking to? Fuck you. Are you no, but you could, look. You could not have offered a false alibi. That's what you could have not done. Fucking dumb. Or however old she is. I didn't know he was fucking talking to her. 
I didn't know he was talking to Jennifer Cordina. I did not know. He knew about eyebrows, though. Anything. I'm violating terms of service for what? Excuse me? Oh, baby. You are 100% correct. Yeah, she knew. She knew because old mate, that's right, because old mate used to tell her that fans wanted to like meet up and the one particular fan wanted to meet up and try his food. And she was like, that's weird, but doesn't sound like a bad idea. She's not responsible for his actions, but my God, a lot of the, a lot of the shenanigans, oh, I'm not going to call it that because that sounds lighthearted. A lot of the shit that went down because he was exposed to a vulnerable audience, uh, Chantel should probably reconsider her, her, her impact on that. Yes. For what? For what? Send more money, dumbass. Oh, way super chats, you saw glitter? I can kind of see the glitter. Responsible for she and she's not responsible for Natter, Laura. Nobody is. He is responsible for himself. And the only person responsible for fucking deplatforming anybody is YouTube. And even then, YouTube has to look at the content. YouTube's been doing some like messy stuff. Or lazy stuff, both. And probably both. not what somebody does in their personal life. Ranting isn't a violation, exactly. It doesn't matter, dumbass Jay of Cornwall. Go read a fucking book, dummy. Every woman in abusive relationships, every woman has everyone telling them from the dawn of time for years sometimes, for years, to get out of it. And they don't. Why do you think that is? Let's hear your reasoning. If you put someone on a... Okay, but can we just acknowledge the fact that people do get out of abusive relationships? They, they do. And that's hard work. And a lot. <clears throat> and come on, Foodie dating site and they end up treating who they like like shit are you responsible for and again we've been through this conversation many many times before a lot of the statistics and a lot of the book reading she likes to proclaim has a little bit of a caveat in regards to Chantel's specific circumstances but... yeah pretty much right <sighs> yeah well I'm responsible for the phone contract okay and am I responsible for who he calls on that phone contract so is Telus responsible Let's, let's sue Telus. Telus provided the internet connection for Natter to talk to Jennifer Corvina, who willingly sent her fucking tits. And Again, this is the same argument as saying, well, YouTube's responsible. Uh, look, I think that you should, should take a lot of responsibility for, like, a lot of dangerous, hateful shit that comes across their platform. But unfortunately, they're reliant on um, little robots. And, you know, Gobby can only do so much. So it's not great. But. At the end of the day, Chantel, please stop comparing yourself to the service providers because the service providers are doing are doing what they do and you are not acting as a service provider providing a vulnerable audience to old mate. Let's just say that. So did Jessica rake mouth Messica. They all sent their fucking tits and pussy to Natter and when they're not getting any fucking... All of the straw men. Sea smoke, all of them. Talk from him. They fucking turn into fucking psycho bitches. That part is true. That part is true. Exactly, crisscross. So, Chantel, you were responsible for me overcooking my pizza and now it's burnt. <gasps> I know. We do take it personally when you tell us you love. The thing is, your VIBs get so involved. Aha, that's not my problem. I know you're protective of me and you get so involved in my life. Again, not. Miss, excuse me, a year ago, pretty much down to the date. A year ago, you sat on the internet and cried to your internet audience and said, if anything ever happens to me, I'm going to give you a safe word. And if I say that safe word three times, I need you to contact the police. The safe word is going to be paper clips. My problem. I want your support and I want... Look, I don't even really need support. Also a reminder that someone in her chat called the police for CPAP rescue. That wasn't Chantel's action, that was someone else. I just like you being here and beezing. And, and holding my hand and ass patting me and giving me money and also like kind of just babying me through life because I have no functionality on my own. I need my VIBs. And, and talking about mm -hmm. ideas. Why do I have to be attacked? Like when I go to a girlfriend in real life and I say, oh, I'm having feelings about Natter. Let's see, let's say none of this was online. Let's say none of this was online. Great hypothetical argument here. And I go to my girlfriend and I say, I'm having feelings about Natter. I'm having a hard time. Great. Do you think my friend goes, you're a dumb cunt? If you do it like 70, no, wait, 47 times, um, I wouldn't choose to use those words. But if you came to me after 47 breakups and said, oh, I'm having a hard time. I've got feelings about old mate. Girl, I wouldn't have seen you after that third time. But for, for argument's sake, I would tell you, 
my dude, my dear, my guy, stop it. This is insanity. Maybe you need to check yourself in somewhere, or maybe you just need to grow the fuck up and be accountable and hold yourself responsible because it really doesn't sound like you do and or don't want to be with this person. So maybe you need something to distract yourself that isn't men's, that isn't men's or weeds's. Uh, maybe something else. Maybe something different. Get a different hobby. Take up knitting. You know, something. Um, but if none of this was playing out online, here's the tea, Christine. In this hypothetical argument, you wouldn't have had a group of vulnerable individuals to point in the direction of old mate and say, hey, go support and contact this person, which is what you did. So, buttons. You're really a fucking dumb cunt. You're fucking responsible for everything that monster- Bloody has another note. Old mate set up his channel and shortly after made a second channel with a series of videos of another woman. After that, you encar- oh, Chantal encouraged him to set up membership and call members VIBs. Friends with benefits? Friends with benefits. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I do forget. Old mate was the one to put up the video of eyebrows McTwerky. Right? Wasn't, wasn't that on old mate's channel? Or his second channel? Right? Because that was gross. That was really gross, wasn't it? Yeah. I think I'm remembering that correctly. To put out to the world, you dumb bitch. Do you think that that's what fucking happens? No. That's okay, buddy. I caught it. It's good. That's what happens online, though. For having feelings for someone. Oh, God. Like, you're fucking all done. Like, I don't get it, but whatever. <laughs> but my heart, Daddy, I love him. Daddy, you could maybe, like, mature and acknowledge the fact that some people are fucking toxic, dangerous, and gross and don't engage with them. But we told you this 47 times. I think... That was the second channel before he was monetized. Gotcha. <laughs> you're going to came in at the wrong time. <laughs> Yep, so Old Mate was the one to put up the videos of Eyebrows McTwerky. Um, yeah, and Chantel was totally cool with that because they got back together again. Are you kidding? Do you want me to show you the messages people call me every day, a dumb kind? So many sexy bots today. Luann. Again, you guys talk about stuff you have no idea. Have a think that? Your girlfriend would tell you to wake the hell up, and then whenever I don't, they would still be my friend. No, false. Right? I wouldn't, sorry. And I'm a pretty good mate. Like, I'm a pretty good mate. No. No, 47 times getting back together with the same dude that you've cried to me over for hours every other day. Um, don't actually have anything, like, dependent on him for other than, like, a good time and drugs. I would... Nah, gal. Nah. Nope. 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 Either he goes or I go. I hope it's... Uh, well, I mean, if it was Chantal, I'd hope it would be me and both of us, in all honesty. But if it was, like, an actual good gal, gal friend of mine, I'd hope it would be me. Sorry for the ultimatum, but 47 times is too many. Right? So what? These are beauty. Who cares if I texted last week? What is your point? What the fuck is your point? No, I don't want advice, Jay Cornwall. Have I ever asked for advice right now? No. This is why she has no friends. Friends, 100% also high throat Good if to I see you, If I want advice, mate. I'll ask for it. In the meantime, I come on here and I talk about my life. Whatever I'm going through. Uh, the Shannon fallout and the Coke revelation were also prior to Old Mate having a channel. Yes, so that was, in context, Shannon coming online into Foodie's chat and outing um, uh, Old Mate being abusive because Chantal was uncontactable and not reacting to anything that her friend was trying to reach out and assist her with. Um, yes, okay, good. That's the yellow dress high dri uh, driving on Coke stream. That's after that. Yeah, okay, good. Got it. If you don't Noted. have here, don't. Because you obviously have a lot of problems, and I don't agree with you, so you can move on. So. Yeah, uh, after after literally years of watching and reacting to Chantal, I have I have now understood now I have recently understood that applying logic to anything that Chantal does it really just doesn't make any goddamn sense. But sometimes it's fun. So what? Responsibility for what? What do I need to take responsibility for? What responsibility would you like me to take? Hmm? What do you want me to do? You want me to call Matter and tell him to stop abusing people? Is that what you want me to do? You could say it online since everything happens to be doing this. That'd be great. This is embarrassing. Like This is embarrassing. I mean, this is gross and embarrassing. Really? You deserve all the abuse and more. Exactly. There you go. This is the- Nobody deserves abuse. Chantal deserves to be held accountable for her actions in all of this shit. Exact attitude. This. Uh, you're just proving me right. You're just proving me right. Victim shaming. Thank you. Chef's kiss. That's all I needed. Thank you. That's gross. That's what that is. 
Thank you. She should stop, has, but she won't. She never will. Thank you. No, you're trying to manipulate my audience, Jay Cornwall. FFG is trying to manipulate her audience and my. I'm glad. Lottie, me too. Same. I'm not. Look, my history isn't as good, but you know. My audience. Same. You're all saying shit that's not even fucking true. And even if it is, who cares? I'm right. Even if you are right, who cares? I'm not a bad person for loving Matter. I'm not a bad person for ever having loved him. I'm not a bad person for him having a YouTube channel. And it's not my fucking fault. Bye. Bye. All right. So let's get drunk. <laughs> I think Chantal's a bad person for many reasons, but... Yeah, I encourage people to go watch his cooking. We've got a list. Absolutely. Before he was outed as abusive. Yes, I did. Again, anything else you'd like to bring up that's stupid and irrelevant? Because, hey, we're on a roll. None of these things are irrelevant. It's just you're trying to make an argument that no one else is going to buy. Because we've been here. Let's sing. I want to be drunk when I wake up. <laughs> Am I a bad person for... Yes, you are. Where do I want to travel next? Um... Oh, that's right, Pac. Well, that she is a bad person. Right now, I want yes. to go to Montreal. I've got to make a song list for tonight. Karaoke list. That's what I'm going to do. What time is it? Five. Oh my god, it's five. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Reaction channels encourage viewers more by actually platforming the content on their channel. Hypocrites. They actually cover him a lot more than me. Again, not everybody. And they talk a lot more about other stuff. I was editing his cooking, pretty much, and outing his bullshit when he was putting me through it. Yeah, and do you not see how that can be confusing for everybody? Hold on, girl. Y'all are so dense it hurts. We're dense. Excuse me. Painful. And big, big platform, Repsion, has that mentality just like all these other fucking morons. It's really sad. Can't wait to out it. But here's the thing. Even if Repsion does come on with very little, like, insight into, into their like personal opinions and perception on it even if it was just full documentary style this is it from day one through day three thousand or whatever it's just supplying what is out there i don't need to tell look you don't need to listen to me no one needs to listen no one needs to watch it's fine um but at the end of the day what i say shouldn't impact what general audiences think of foodie because we all watch foodie we may think similarly, differently. We may agree and disagree. And that's okay. That's totally fine because we all watch in different ways. But at the end of the day, I think that the commonality between people who watch Chantel through reaction is that she's not a good person and why would you want to hang out in her chat? <laughs> and you're interested in the insight other people bring to her, like, BS, because all she does is lie and gaslight to her audience. <laughs> and sometimes you need a buddy to yell into the void. Yeah, Gary Unfiltered. You're responsible for not having a platform, Gary Unfiltered. Monty, Sarah, Watery Jane. You're all fucking responsible. Oh, well. I didn't believe it at the time, Jay of Cornwall. What can I say? I believed him in everything. Another classic thing that Definitely, women Definitely, Lucas, yeah. Oh, well. It can be hard as well, because it's hard, especially when streaming, um, and that's why I'm very grateful to people who have fabulous memories. Um... It is really hard because Chantelle will sit here and tell us the story of how, like, how she first met Old Mate, what the first week with Old Mate's like. And if you weren't there or you didn't care about it or you're not, like, up to up to speed on the histories, it can be really hard because she can paint it in such a, such a picture that is not what we received. <laughs> what can I say? I refuse to take, I refuse to feel bad about any of it. Sorry. <laughs> he has a deep history of being a shit human, really? Oh, maybe that will be interesting. Maybe two can play this game. Hmm. Oh, is she going to do a deep dive on, on um, Repsion? Oh, I won't hold my breath. People in relationships go through. She is on one, Milk. <laughs> on so. One. There's a little and bit of. you're doing the same thing, Jay Cornwall. Talking about. She's fighting with like two people in her chat at this point, by the way. Um, there's a little bit in the last stream, but I'll see if Being I a have fucking... the energy. I don't think I will because there's still an hour in this White one. White night for me, but downplaying my shit. So get out, get the fuck out of here, you dumbass hypocrite. Lives in a lonely world, I know. I always block them. The minute they get unblocked, they must sniff it. And come... Dude, don't even talk about me. You were the individual out here thinking that it wasn't SA because it was only pre-cum. You are a fucking... Not a good person. And stupid. Real stupid. Just stupid. Stupid. I'm right back in hoping to, I don't know, breathe some sense into something that's not even makes any sense. I'll have people saying it for my own reasons again. Milk, this one was like three and a half hours, dude. But she doesn't really kick off until at least like hour 50-ish. That gives you a good starting point. He's a failure. 
<laughs> nope, I'm going to live a wonderful life and you're going to watch all of it in spending hours obsessing about my life for free. You know what? Oh, throw it in. Like, <laughs> I don't think I've ever... <laughs> I don't consider myself supremely filtered. Like, I think my thoughts come out pretty, like, pretty genuine. Um, but she's made me mad a few times. So? Not, like, mad mad, just, like, mm, warm. I'm just going to live that way. Warm mad. People are idiots. Hi, sweetie. Yeah, he showed his face. He used to. Yeah. Oh, baby, I'm sorry I had to remind you of that. <laughs> sorry. Chandel has grown a lot. No, an hour and 50 minutes. She's acknowledged what one. she went through this and is, is dating and moving started. on, but let her get over this rather than bring her down. No, instead of doing that, they want to be like, oh, she saw him, she saw him. Like, that's all they care. Like, it's like, they don't care at all about anything other than their own mindless entertainment. Like, you know what? Again, I'm literally just here to watch my stories, but also encourage everybody, do not, do not touch the real world with Chantel. What it's I mean? weird. It's weird, and no one ever benefits. Can we ignore the haters? Yes, we can. Yep. Oh, yeah, I'm a predator, right? <laughs> you exhibit predatory behaviors, but, but, like, surrounding individuals who are vulnerable. You guys are so fucking stupid. Mm -hmm. We need to invent a word for these specific people, like, Jay. That's correct, Deffy, yes. Like, all these people in this category. They say you see him. Oh, nice meerkats. That's a, that's a big step count. views. Good, I'm glad you want me to be successful. I will be. There's not only one way of being successful. Correct, I see him to get views. Yeah, but I don't advertise it, so why would I... If I saw him to get views... Wait, what? If Okay, they say I'm sneaking around to see him, but then I'm seeing him to get views. So wouldn't he need to be viewed to get views off it? Like, people are so dumb. Oh my god. You're talking about drama to get views. It's not it not hard math. One cannot be successful without getting their shit together. That's not true. One can maybe not be fully happy, but they can still be successful. But okay, philosophical food you can leave. Montana, don't That's go fine. back to an abuser. I know it will never get better. I can't help worrying about you. I know. Oh God, don't worry about foodie. She's just, God. There are there's about a million other things in this universe to worry about other than the actions of foodie beauty. Guns. She's gonna foodie's gonna foodie. And then she's going to talk about it on her live stream, and that's how we'll catch it. It's fine. I was in a relationship for 27... Hey, Lindsay. 27 years. And that made me sound, make me sound cold, right? And disconnected. But at the end of the day, Fruity is never going to take anybody's advice and never going to take her life seriously. What do you do with that? Like, we are audience members. We don't owe her anything. She's, she's going to do what she wants to do. Consisted of mental abuse, gaslighting. That was, that was not recognized during my time. It takes a long time to get over it. I still want him. Exactly. So L is phil philosophical foodie your favorite. Like foodie? people do not. I don't know. Who cares, Jay of Cornwall? That's your perception of me. You see me as a drug, a, a bald drug addict. I don't see myself that way. Living in squalor. So what? It's just trash. I can just fucking put it all in the trash can. Yeah, but you won't. That's the key. Yay. Honestly, you see me that way. I don't see myself that way. Great. I literally see you every day in squalor. Oh, but we, I could just throw it all out. Okay, then do it. So I don't care. <laughs> so what if I'm bald? That doesn't matter. I don't care. You have nice hats. I'm a drug addict. No, you have hats. I fucking eat edibles every night. Am I doing drugs right now? No, I don't eat drugs. Are you reliant on the weed? There's an argument to say yes. Daily, thank you for being here for 19 months, my friend. I appreciate you, Daily. Lurking because sleepy, but much love. Love right back, Daily. Thank you very much for being here, and I hope you sleep well, mate. At night, I do edibles. Yes. Am I a drug addict? Well, I guess, THC. I don't know. It's legal here. So what? <laughs> it's legal here. You're not going to bring me down to where you want me to be. It's not going to happen. Okay, whatever. Just, are you That's good? Fine. Like, is there anything it's, else you want? It's not the aim. The aim is to try to make some type of logical argument about all of this fancy that she's talking. But sure. Any other on. advice you want to get out before I fucking move on to fully ignoring you? Oh, posture check. Anything Thank else? you, gloating. Appreciate you. <laughs> no, I didn't block anybody. Welcome to the Hotel California. Such a lovely place. Being intimate with someone for a period of time creates a soul tie. It's hard to break, especially one that causes trauma. Sorry, did someone in her chat just say soul tie? Come on now. <laughs> okay. All right, then. I'll go through their breakup online and have it dissected. Yep. Well, that's not something that you can do, Jay of Cornwall, unfortunately. 
Everyone is flawed, yep. Not wrong, buddy. I feel that. You are over your abuser and do not want him? Yeah, of course. Other people have different... Everyone has different experiences than everyone, you know? I think I look better... Exactly. What are you talking about, Jay? I look better than I did last year. I'm way smaller. Okay. I mean, I've lost at least 60 pounds. Wait. What? <laughs> okay. Um. Look. Cocaine weight loss aside, Miss Chantel, your organs are literally trying to escape your body. That's how that's how poorly your health is. Sorry to break it to you. Let's let's just take a walk in nature. It's maturing. And I was balding back then too. Now I just shave my head and show it more. So actually if I shaved my head back then, I would have probably looked worse. Oh, Wasabi, hello. Thank you for being here for seven months, mate. Wasabi says, to sum up, everything is everyone's fault but mine. That is correct, yes. That is the summation of today's argument. Wasabi, thank you for being here for seven months. I appreciate it. <laughs> See what I mean? These people are wrong. Maturing is realizing she will never snap out of it. Gorlick is not skinny either. He's a fat, freaking bearded man. It's a lot of doubt, Kretness. <laughs> I will never snap out of it. What, what, what would snapping out of it be? No, I'm like, what, stops picking my nose and stuff? I mean, I want to get to a place where I have... I'm more healthy and s sustainable. All that... Sustainable? Shit, good future. But that's not like... <laughs> Healthy future, you know, taking care of myself, really, like, analyzing what makes me happy, all of that shit, you know, just the, the usual, just another Tuesday. The type of, I know, sanctimonious ass waves. Like, it's, I don't live my life like that. I don't want to live my life like that. Like, I just don't care. Like, you know? Yeah, I'll, I'll firmly hold on to mine. Yes. Yeah. What did, why didn't I follow up with BBJ like that said? Oh, shut up. Ha! <laughs> it's true, though. BBJ! BBJ, how are your nails? Have they grown up into your toe pads entirely yet? How's the walking going? I hope you're okay, dear. She has her tongue out. Look at it. BBJ. Okay, so. Buttons. Platforming someone means you have control over someone being on that platform. Like Twitter, like literally the conversation was pretty much like. No, no, that's not what platforming means. And this is just getting down to the semantics of phrasing. Like, I should make a, I want to make a YouTube channel, blah, blah, blah. You know, I want to make my own YouTube channel, basically because of like my introduction to him. He didn't like it, so he wanted to make a YouTube channel, do his own cooking. So I was like, all right, fine. So then that's some BS right there. Foodie could have turned around and said, mm, "Not going to do that. If you want to showcase your cooking and you want to be a public figure, you can do that on my channel." That probably would have been a smarter idea as well. Uh, either way, she did what she did, and accountability. Who? We sat together, and he fucking create channel like you don't he barely needed any fucking help so for you to be if you want to say that i created helped him create his channel in the very fucking technical sense sure i set him up with the cushiness of it all yeah mm -hmm. uh, okay so that's admission great of course not knowing what the fuck he was doing behind my back except you did because you told us multiple times so buttons Nitpicking about everything. BBJ and Sam are well looked after, I guess. It's not nitpicking. It's just that your audience, Chantal, as much as I don't... I'm not one of your VOEs, by the way, but I watch. Um, I just don't like being lied to by a nincompoop. That's it. That's all. If you let someone you do not even know manipulate you, you have a problem. Pretty much. Oh, thanks, El. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. <laughs> I was trying to find a healthy mix, you know? Oceana and Mr. Boots, thank you very much for the super chat. Oceana says, thank you for being fabulous. Thank you for being fabulous. I hope Mr. Boots is happy, Oceana, and I hope you're having a good time. Thank you for the soup. $60 worth of sustainable mayonnaise? Just make your own fucking mayonnaise. How about you make some mayonnaise? I'd pay to see that. No, I wouldn't. I'd watch the YouTube stream of that. Maybe. Yes. All right, so. Some That's true, sit there and cry true. every night apologizing for whatever they think you've done. They'll be happy then. Pretty much. I think so. I think this is going to be nice and charged up. <sighs> i got to clean the kitchen now. Yay! <laughs> she does not start that job for another hour. At first you only record. I don't actually think that happens. When you were in a good spot, that's why he would get so mad when you didn't come to video him. No, he has Didi and figured it out and became outright abusive online. Yeah, like, I mean, like, the videos I was doing for him have been... If you look at the progression of everything, I met him, I talked about him from the beginning, very open and honest. Correct. Nothing shady. I was very open and honest right from the beginning, right in Sorry, define shady. Till everything that happened, right to the drug use, everything. Yep, we were there for that. This was new for me. I didn't know who how he was. I didn't know who he was. And 
over time. Like I know like little things, you know, I fell in love with him really bad. I became bonded to him really bad. And I was there pretty much every day almost. And I would do cooking videos for him. Cooking videos, cooking videos. Again, that didn't happen until September, right? And as you look, our relationship dying out, come online, out everything, blah, blah, blah. And now he has, his content is significantly different because I'm not with him anymore. Um, n no, I don't think that's why. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. Well, no, in part, I do think that's part of the reason why some of the content is different. But um, this has all just gone really downhill real quick. I filmed, edited, financed his cooking videos. Correct. So you're, you know... You are an impactful element in all of that. Yes. Before he was abusive to me. False. What don't you fucking get about that? That's false. No, you move on. You're No, that's false though. Wrong. Plain. No, that's false. You're lying. And simple. Any he was abusive and paper clips all happened before you set him up. The one who says otherwise is wrong and dumb. No, but you're wrong and dumb because I trust the histories. There's no other way to say it. No other way to say it. No, I didn't within the first few weeks. Yes, yes, you did. So what? Like, even if even if he hit me and I helped him make a YouTube channel, that's still, I'm still not responsible for his actions, especially. No, you're not responsible for his actions, but you are responsible for pointing your audience in his direction. Dude, just accept the fact that this is the truth and stop lying to your audience. Actions I didn't know he was committing. L, no, I have not. I know, it's sin. So every time you accuse me of that, I'm going to correct you. So no, no. Okay, well, every time you lie, I'm I'm going to attempt to correct you or, like, make fun. Because this is what we do here. No, because... Again, why would you choose to hang out in Foodie's chat? I have no idea. No, I didn't. So much no, more I fun didn't. here. No, find the date of the first time I talked about it. Let's see what it was. Oh, the date when you first talked about the abusive in every way stuff? Is that what and you even about? then. Even... This is hard to do on the fly. This is why I appreciate people with, like, good memories. And if, even if he hit me... And I then forgave him for it. I was in an abusive relationship and I helped him make a channel to do his cooking. Right, so nothing matters. Fruity is the perpetual victim of everything and there is an answer for everything. We are wrong. She is right. The end. Videos. Not to victimize people, which he didn't even fucking do. Like, where's your, what are you talking about? He victimized Jennifer Corvina? What are you talking about? I made, I made, I made May come to Canada. Is that what you're saying? I made her come to Canada to meet him? No, no. I think the May thing is like an entirely different argument because it was all the shit that happened after the incident with May. Like the fact that you sat on camera and you guffawed and laughed at the idea that it was SA because in your words, and this is a paraphrase, so excuse me, it was only pre-cum. Um, and if it's only pre-cum, it means that it wasn't SA somehow in foodie's mind someone feel free to get her to explain the logic on that one because that's fucked um no no and then you sat there and you said no look i've got a photo on whatsapp that proves we were together on that day so that timeline doesn't make sense and then you kind of rewrote that timeline like way down the line that took like probably a year to figure out um no there was a lot there was a lot there was a lot ah lottie coming in with the note Lottie says, thank you, Lottie. Lottie says, the first time you talked about abusive in every way, 7th of August. Hmm. That's the date. Started seeing each other in April. Abusive in every way was August. And then he had the channel by the end of September. About that. About that. About that. I made him meet her. I had no idea that even happened. No idea that even met. So no. Pretty sure... I Again, and shout out to Lottie, I'm pretty sure that you said in explaining the May situation that he had fans who had come to Canada who wanted to taste his food, and you encouraged that as a good idea that they should meet up. That's never a good idea. That's not a good idea. That is a bad, bad idea. Bad, bad. Boo, bad, boo. Boo, bad. Bad, bad idea. No, again, you're wrong. Every which way you shape it, Meerkats, I can't tell you where she got that from. She failed biology on so many levels. So. Lottie is amazingness, Anas. We can take a moment to talk about that if you'd like. Keep trying. You called, told women to call live. No, I didn't. Nope. I told people to call in. You guys, not women. Oh, okay. Great. All right. Now we're getting specific about gender identity. All right, foodie. I see what you're doing. And again. What? Did I know what he was like? Like, go, you know what? If you think I'm doing a crime, go have me arrested for it then. 
But this is not about criminal behavior. This is just about you taking accountability for like, oh, I don't know, taking care of your audience. And look, here's the thing, right? Audience members are humans. Content creators are humans. No one's ever going to get it right. But at the end of the day, don't encourage dangerous behavior amongst your audience doesn't matter if it's like dangerous activities doesn't matter if it's engaging with girl world like personally i think they're kind of in the same bag like you know it's like jackass don't do the stunts and just like don't put your hand in the fire both 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 in reality and like metaphorically go to the police tell them there was a person who was in an abusive relationship with a man and at one time, helped him make a YouTube channel for his cooking. Look, if anyone's going to talk about this to the police, one, don't waste anyone's time. Two, it's going to be real hard because, like, th there's a lot. There's just a lot. There's there's so much. There's so much. Until he was outed as being abusive and doing all the... Oh, wait, she's going to do the thing where she's going to try to rewrite this this narrative really concisely. Let's listen in. Let's, let's start this again. Okay, ready? Nope. I told people to call in. You guys, not women. And again... What? Did I know what he was like? Like, go, you know what? If you think I'm doing a crime, go have- Doing a crime. Me arrested for it then. Go to the police, tell them there was a person who was in an abusive relationship with a man, uh -huh. and at one time helped him make a YouTube channel for his cooking. Uh-huh. Until he was outed as being abusive and doing all these things, blah, blah, blah. What, what do you think they're going to tell you? That you're fucking stupid, because you are. All of you. What about driving while vaping? What about driving without hands on the wheels? What about driving under the influence of cocaine? They're the three about driving. Um, it's not to laugh about, but still. Um, what about the... I mean, we can play what about isms until the, the end of days. But we won't. You're saying nothing. You're saying nothing. That's why. You're not saying anything. You're not saying anything. I have defended him with me. Because I didn't believe he did it. Because at the time, the timeline didn't make sense to me. So, Foodie, maybe you should learn about that interaction and understand that if you don't know something, maybe you don't sit up on your channel and berate an individual who may and or may not at that stage have gone through a traumatic experience. Maybe you don't question their motives. Maybe you don't call them 80 years old. Maybe you don't proclaim that they're untrustworthy because they're sitting on a pee pad. Don't proclaim why they're untrustworthy for traveling from the States into Canada to meet someone, you know, I specifically remember, <coughs> pardon me, remember times where she was saying, well, who does that? What kind of creepy person does that? And it's like, well, you want to talk about victim shaming. I mean, Chantal, you do it pretty clearly with May. Um, and it's gross. So, you know, what you could do is shut your mouth and not talk about it. That would be the smartest thing to do. But instead you decided to, um, basically defend old mate because he was totally, a stand-up individual in every way and definitely trustworthy and certainly hadn't stabbed two people and definitely wasn't abusive in every way at that time. Right. Thank you. Thank you. She didn't want them to call in for sexual... So exactly, exactly. So, so, curious. Where have I said call in for sexual reasons? And where at the time can you prove that I was aware anything was going on with him? Behind the scenes. Again, I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay, we've already done this. She doesn't need to know, but we're doing it. I'm not giving you an arm wiggle. I see the shit that you say about me, so what are you here for? Yeah, don't, don't, don't engage directly. Don't, d no. Not a fan. <laughs> I'm mean? How well, am I mean? Has proven so the people exactly. that you support on Monty's panel are not mean? I'd like an explanation of that when they make fun of my body. They're not mean? I use my platform to discredit her, just like Repsion is doing with his platform to discredit me. Uh, we have to wait to see what, what happens with that content first. Um, but discrediting Chantel is a little bit of a... Mm, it, it's a little bit of a stretch. Because again, for the majority of people, reaction channels, compilation channels, clip show channels, documentarians, all of those people, um, le legitimately just take the content that you create and present it in a context right context is important and that's why i said you know it'll be interesting next week to see what repsion decides to keep in prune keep out how much you know they choose to focus on certain things because at the end of the day you know we're, we're watching someone who's been on the youtubes for half a decade um and how much context goes into all of this plus the old mate stuff like it's going to be a whole a whole thing Ah, uh, smug towel. I mean, but you paid to join me. No, but I've seen you say some nasty comments about me, so I'm wondering why I should now kiss your ass and give you an arm wiggle. 
She's pressed. I feel like she's pressed. She's Panini pressed. And? Yeah, well, I, do, I don't care if you're Bruce or not, Jay Cornwall. You're not the epitome. Who are you? Like, fucking moral compass of the world or what? Like... You were making... Exactly. Oh, thanks, you were Lottie. making the most horrible racist comments. Jay of Cornwall. So take yourself righteous bullshit elsewhere. All right. Lottie has more notes. Hold on. Uh, like, what the fuck? Hmm. How am I going to do this? Let's I'm do mean? This no. Way. I'm defending myself. No, I'm defending myself. How is that mean? Again, you said... The, do you want me to pull up comments that you said about me? Hold on, Fruity. We've just got a thing. Okay. Cool. Let's get some context up in here. So, this is from the 26th of October, 2021. Once again, shout out to the fabulous historian Lottie. Um, here it is. Okay, great. Fruity Beauty, five minutes ago. Just a reminder, 26th of October. I'm not going to read this in a funny voice because it's sensitive talking materials. Fruity Beauty. <clears throat> I am taking a break from the internet for a bit. I need to really process a lot, and I know this place is toxic right now. I went to get my CPAP and new clothes and returned to his other phone. How many phones did this dude have? To him, which he left in my car. He showed me the messages between him and this May woman, and I have seen with my own eyes that she came here wanting to have sex with him, and he had said no, and she threatened to go public accusing him. She even says no one will believe someone with a criminal record. I am not excusing anything that has happened between us, but I realize that there are many trolls and people trying to mess with us. Just me being there for a few minutes, three women called him and made up stories that I contacted them and made up lies. I heard it myself. I am confused and hurt and don't know what to believe, but I have seen evidence that makes me feel like May is not being truthful. Right. So that was about a month after his channel was up. And when Foodie was actively encouraging um, content, on his channel, right? And at the end of the day, I don't, I can't tell you how many times um, Chantal had gone back at this point, but I'm gonna stick April through August. I'm gonna say they'd probably broken up and gotten back together about 20 times at this point. Um, but we all know that after October came November, because that's the way that calendars work, uh, and Foodie was on again, off again, all the way through until the new year. So... Button. Hmm. But there you go. Anyway, back to foodie. Who pit? Who's meaner? Because you've said some really nasty shit about me. So who's meaner? You or me? No. No, you. So why should I fucking hug you when you fucking say nasty shit? Like, you're fucking dumb. Like, yeah, I'm mean to people who are mean to me. Sorry. See, the reason why foodie doesn't remember that, though, is because she deleted it from her community tab, no doubt. So that's why she might not have the, the memory of it. So you can be mean, you don't deny it, but you're just in here accusing me of being mean. Can you make that make any fucking sense or what? What did I do to you? How was I mean to you? I'd like to know. Like, you people are just dumb. Like, do I have to make you feel dumb about yourself? Like, Yeah, Marissa, absolutely. I do remember how she said there were... Uh, she said... What did she say specifically there? She said, oh, I'm going to contact the hotel to get the camera footage of... of because there was a conversation about one or the other chasing one or the other down the street. Oh no, that's the that's the um, service station footage I'm trying to think of. No, she was making the argument. Uh, no, she so she made the argument that she was going to get the footage from the hotel because he was only with her for ten minutes. Wasn't that it? Because it was in the same breath as the, the pre-cum discussion, right? It was, he, they were only together for 10 minutes and, you know, what are you going to prove if there's only pre-cum? That's not a say. That's, again, me paraphrasing a, a terrible individual here. Pretty beauty. Have you met them? I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the logic. What did I do to you, Flora? And how am I mean? And even though, so why are you mean to mean for me being supposedly mean? Do you see how dumb this is? Well, Wasabi, you can't really see the ten shades of red on her face because of all the filters, which are kind of breaking at this moment. But there's still there's still a lot of color correction and a lot of smoothing going on. Yeah, you I look, called you that on a comment, a close. nasty, nasty, nasty comment you left about me first. So, yes, I replied to your nasty comment with a nasty comment. So what did you write? What was your comment first, Flora? What was your comment when I said your hair looks fucking wispy flying around the room? What was your comment to that first? Did I just pick you out of nowhere and go, you're fucking ugly bitch for no reason? Is that what? You were joking? Pardon that me. wasn't a joking comment. So what was your comment? So I was joking too, right back with you. I was being... This is why I don't like the... I only said it because I was joking argument. No, just like say what you mean. Joking, right back. I was joking too. So. Good morning, Selkie. Hello. 
What's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? Right. Well, it's true. No, your comment was a lot meaner than that. Don't downplay it. That's what you guys do. You accuse me of getting into the semantics? Are you kidding? That's all that these fucking people do, including you, is pick apart my life in semantics. Please. Uh... So that's about being some... And look, I am... Look, I get it. I'm picky. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a particular dude. I get it. Um, but I also just don't like being lied to by someone who's bad at lying. I mean, I don't like being lied to in general, but, like, she's bad at lying because she's publicized everything, you know? <laughs> Ever wonder what a Saturday would look like for a reactor if Chantel, was, if a reactor, if Chantel wasn't live? Do they wait around on bated breath? My Saturday was great. I wasn't here. Yeah, they do. No, I really didn't. <laughs> I have three snipers right now. Lovely. My Saturday was great. What do you mean because I get sick of seeing you be mean to people? I'm, who am I mean to? I was, a, I was away from here. I went for bike rides. I did baking. Who am I mean to? People who are fucking mean to me first. Yeah, sorry. Did some walks. I mean, like, I never weather. come for people. Spring's on my channel. In clear. Like, my channel is just beezing. Who? Who's everybody? Who's everybody? Name one person I'm mean to who doesn't deserve it. Who's not mean to me? I'm not Name mean. one. Just realistic. I think. Yeah, but that's, you're not a beezer. You weren't a beezer, so why do you care about that? Is she arguing beezers? with beezers the seven who, again, people in her chat? fucking rude. Just block them. Block them and move on. Oh, wait, she can't. Go. All I ask is that you think about moving to Montreal. If it's still for the reasons you've told us, then I support you. But please Chantel be very, very also sure. got banned, Lucas. Yes. Thanks, Down Under. That's yeah, true, I'm going man. to be. We have to stitch it together. Definitely. Thanks for the super chat, Down Under. Thinking a lot about it. If you don't have anything nice to say, keep your trap shut. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I, Flora, I'm, I do have a bad attitude sometimes. I'm defensive sometimes. I was going through a lot of shit and defensive. I get a lot of shit from people. People were being fucking hateful as fuck in my chat sometimes. Even Beezers. Just because you pay four ninety nine does not entitle you to be a fucking asshole. But now I just don't really care. Whatever. Be an asshole all you want. And you could just block them, Fruity. You were really good at that a couple of months ago. I feel like something's changed. Um. Why do people get so upset when she just defends herself against people making false claims? No, BB, I didn't bake in the air fryer. I didn't. At a, I was at a place that had an oven. Makeup lies and attacker. It was a whole thing at the start of the trip. Exactly. It's good though. I mean, made, like the I made breakfast bites with puff pastry. It was real good. Amount of times I've had a bad attitude for having six thousand pages of people talking shit about me every day. People stream sniping me. Even right now, three people stream sniping me to pick apart every little fucking thing in my life. Like, I'm pretty. Log off, dear. You're getting you're getting upset. Log off. It's time to log off. Be sure that's nothing. It pales in comparison. Take a break. Take a day. I'd love another day. The chat was Natter, was right about Natter, but that doesn't give people the right. You're right about some things, but some things no. About the some things Stop about fighting with your chat and maybe just agree. If multiple people are coming to you being like, "This is not the reality," and this is what actually happened, maybe you just need to like take note and accept that people's opinions of the situation are, you know, probably right. I mean, you're not right about. You're not. Just fucking get over Morning, it. Juliana, not right. Hello. And people don't like that. I'm not a shit human being. I'm a good person with a big heart, and I'm not a bad person just because I fucking cared and loved, loved EB, fucking no, matter. This was a close chat. No, and just because I believed him, and because I wanted good for him, and because I wanted his channel to do good, doesn't make me a bad person. No, it doesn't. Exactly. That's right. I don't need to tell you I'm not holding you responsible for matters behavior. We just want your help. Now that we do know. But you're asking something of me I can't do. Like, you, I can't. I still am in this, in a way. Like, in a lot of ways. Like, I still have feelings for him. You're not... Oh, my God. Yeah. Hold on. Let's experience this I still, eye roll together. But you're asking something of me I can't do. Like, you, I can't. Get ready. I still am in this, in a way. Like, in a lot of ways. Like, I still have feelings for him. I still... It's very, very, very emotionally distressing trying to hurt him. Or try to to take him down or try to do anything like that good god girl get a grip holy shit flora she doesn't owe you shit <laughs> thank you vicky you do know these oh things never pass right maybe not maybe not i hope they do because it's torture you know oh yes we can lottie yes I feel like we need, we need jerseys. <sighs> Get out of cleaning and packing. I'm not in the right headspace to help anyone but myself right now. And peace, pretty much. 
you know. No, the re only responsibility I have, Flora, is to take care of myself now. I don't have any other responsibility in anything. I don't have any responsibility. I don't owe anybody anything. I don't owe anybody anything. And she never has, and that's always been her attention, so... Who cares if he was introduced to the world? I introduced him to the world by talking about my experience with him because I have a YouTube channel, so I have that right. Doesn't make me responsible for what he does. I'm allowed to talk about people. Is the first person who talks about fucking the first person. Just because you're allowed to doesn't mean you should. You talk about fucking what Hitler did. Was he responsible for what Hitler did? No, you nincompoop. I owe the Canadian government. That's not your problem. She does owe the Canadian government. She does. I don't know about y'all, but during tax time in Australia, um, it's one, hard, but two, also, it's quite interesting because the government sends out a, a letter that says, hey, here's all, like, the, like, the, um, the elements of your tax payment and, like, what it gets divided into and where it goes. So things like, um, social services, uh, things like roads and hospitals and schools and, um, hospitals and ER rooms and emergency care and hospitals and e ER rooms and roads, roads, roads between cities, roads, hospitals, things that people use, you know, taxes. Anyway. No, I can't do anything about it, Flora. And even if he does spread shit around and there's nothing that's done about it, again, it's still not my fault. You're wrong. You're fucking all going after the wrong person. You all want me to do something. You think just because I started talking Ellie. about him and helped him click create channel now that I have all this responsibility to try to take him out when I don't want to do that. You have the thickest skull. Do you not understand basic human psychology? Oh, yeah, Ellen. Our tax system's relatively easy. It was just really messy this year for me because um, of, like, the youtube -y stuff. <clears throat> but, um... But yeah, no, they send out these letters, like, once everything's processed, and it's like, look, uh, this percentage went to, like, you know, this this social service, which is which is no, really they... neat. It's good. It's it's good for people who are interested in numbers. They don't. That's the problem. And but, they... you know, sometimes we watch YouTubers who don't pay taxes for three years and, you know, using all of these services that are, that are paid for by tax, like, you know, ERs and hospitals and hospitals and roads and roads and hospitals. Hospitals. They're the loudest to speak about a situation they don't fucking understand. You can speak out against him like others have. What do you think I did for a whole fucking year? Why do you think he doesn't fucking like me? Because I talk about him and I don't lie. If I really wanted to be with him, I could come on here. Have I ever, I could come on here and go, you guys, you know, it was just bullshit. Nothing ever happened. He was never abusive to me. You know. Gosh, this sounds rehearsed and like we've heard it 47 times before, huh? Oh, I love him. Fuck that. I'm going to go be with him. Blah, blah, blah. You don't think I would be oh, working really police. fucking... Oh, and police. Yeah, of course, Chad. I forgot about that. And police and detectives and police and police who are called during CPAP rescues and police that you go and give an allegedly false, um, like, complaint or, like, thing to. And then police slash detectives who have to, like, follow up on all of that. And then police slash detectives and possibly administrative people who have to listen to you, like you know, rescind your complaint and, and all of that, and then police and detectives and administrative people who have to follow up on all the paperwork surrounding all of that, and schools and roads and hospitals. Hard right now. Public like restrooms, you're right. Like, outhouses. <laughs> Idiot. His channel has only brought more women to his... <clears throat> no. Police to do the welfare checks, you're right, carrot butts. Those women contact him on their own. They don't go through me. I have no fucking, like, he would find a way to make his own fucking, actually, he had Facebook Messenger before he knew me. He had Facebook Messenger, which is where he contacted these people. Where you encouraged your audience to contact him. <laughs> oh my god. Who have I come for? Flora, again, who have I come for? I sit here beezing. We're still waiting. It's always the loudest ones who know the least. Just be careful who you introduce to the internet as if you have any, any idea that down the line, they may potentially meet someone. This wasn't about down the line. Down the line happened and, and Old Maid is responsible for his actions, which are fucking gross and ill. But can you be responsible for yours, please? For the love of God. On their platform and potentially do something? Or women may potentially send their tip pictures? Oh, like nothing makes sense. How does this not make sense to you? Makes perfect sense. 
I mean, I'm understanding the argument the chat's providing. Or you think she can just delete his channel without consequences? People want me to go hard at him right now. They want me to feel a way I don't feel. Oh, someone had to mow the hill she rolled down on. You're right. All of those lovely parks that she walks through every now and then, they require upkeep, which I'm imagining are paid by the tax um, agency. What is it? C Canadian Revenue Agency? CRN Network Agency Group. Something. There's nothing I can say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's poetic. CRA, thank you. No, I'm not raging at people. I'm just pointing out the dumbness of some of these contents. Like, dumbness, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, but... um. I have no influence over his channel being on YouTube or not, even if you were going hard at him and screaming your lungs out. I literally, for a whole year, fucking outed everything that, everything I've been through with him. For a whole year. And now you're like, I'm not doing enough. Yeah, but you also made your, you, you made your choice and decided to rescind all of that and then argue the semantics of all of that too, so. I'm, I'm not. Unfortunately, we are where we are. Doing enough. I'm not doing enough. I don't want to. I'm done. I'm fucking good with what I'm doing right now. This is not, this okay. is not scripted. This is like, I'm dealing with life as it comes, man. Like, you know? <laughs> yeah, she's never going to do anything the way anybody ever wants her to. Or the smart way. I know everyone wants me to fucking, you know what I mean? Like... <sighs> this is not a rage. What are you talking about? And now people are going to go and look for things I said, blah, 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 to use against me. Okay, so, fine. So, blame... Ooh, that does sound good, Elle. Me for... Go ahead. Blame me for all of his abusive ways. Go for it. No, that's hyperbolic. Do it. How about, how about we call it where what reality is and just like... Wait, I don't care anymore. Talk about platforming. Fuck the Karens, be me. Yep. At the end of the day, no matter what I do, I'm just going to be me. And anyone can hate me, cancel me, I don't care. Uh-huh. I've been canceled how many times now? Uh-huh. Okay, can we like accept the fact that being canceled on the internet and just being not a likable person are two very different things? This channel was started in August, not September. What? What? I understand, I'm sorry, I don't know. Nope, I'm not fighting. Yeah, the channel may have been created, but we're not talking, about, again, we're not talking the semantics of setting up his name and clicking the, like, make make a goddamn profile conversation. This is about creating content and pointing audience members in that direction. That was on you. Him right now. I don't feel like it. You all don't have the emotional attachment I had to him, so you cannot tell me how to act with him. Um, no, but we as humans generally have an understanding of what emotional attachment is. And if you're a, if you're an avid watcher of foodie, you know, that's been really hard to do. Oh, so many have never been in one. No, I'm responsible for his abuse, Holly. That's what they're saying. I'm responsible for him that's meeting all these women. I got him to get all these women abused and, um, he's on YouTube because of me. So you, you can all hate me now. You can all fucking hate me. He's on YouTube because of you though. Blame me, lynch, lynch me, fucking do what you want. I don't care. I don't care. Chantal helped his channel, but it's not like she's helping his channel now, so who cares? They were together at that point. If they want to run... And she knew exactly what he was like and decided to take her vulnerable audience and point them in his direction. That is the long and short of it. With that, Sav, let them. Have fun. All my fault. Everything. Resp I'm responsible for May. I'm responsible for Jennifer. I'm responsible for everything. Everything that Natter has done since being on YouTube all stems right back to me. Again, she's the content creator. Hey, she could just literally stop talking about this anytime she wants, but she won't. Helping him make a channel. You're absolutely fucking right. There you go. I platform him. Are you happy? What else do you want now? Anything else? Because I'm waiting to be. I'm waiting to get this all, all out of your system. Do you have anything else? Insufferable. <laughs> I'm responsible for Stuns of Village, Jamie. <laughs> His name is now permanently attached to evidence of violence, thanks to Chantal. Oh no, but the, anything, that's, that would be something positive. That's not allowed, that's gross. Really not positive, and again, this dangerous individual was known, just wasn't known on the internet. I can never do anything right. Dude, none of this was right. Absolutely none of what has happened over the last 18 months, almost a year now, has been right. None of this has been right. Ellen, there's like two people causing right. this conversation. Yes. So, do you guys realize now that I don't care what you think about me? So can we be so? You want to kiss BBJ's bald spots? You don't know how abusive someone is until you were balls deep into it. She was deep enough to tell us all about it in August. Mm -hmm. Your responsibility starts and ends with letting him in your life. 
Yeah. Yeah, because she holds no responsibility for making his content. And again, pointing her audience in his direction. Yeah, that's not resp- that's not her responsibility at all. What are you talking about? She can try so to start doing that. But... Oh my god, gloating. Stop it. I'm not there's I mean, whatever. Have fun with yourself. But yeah. I mean go Do you know what? Part of me thinks that she's literally doing this because she doesn't want to clean. Like this. <laughs> She's like, no, I need to address all the hate in my chat that is far more important than me cleaning my room. Well, go live your perfect lives then. Okay, bye. <laughs> go, go, go live your perfect life. Yes, go live your perfect life, Jay. Manipulating immigrants? Hmm. That sounds like shit too. Karaoke bees! Being problematic and manipulative over individuals who are in not great positions in their life? Realistic. Flora, were you messaging Natter on Messenger? You sound like one of those women. Wow. I have a lot of those. They would message Natter and be like, I messaged Natter. And blah, 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 blah. I did it just for you. Just to prove you an asshole. Fuck off. You know what the appropriate response to that would have been? It would have been, could you not do that? Maybe don't go real world, hey? That doesn't seem like a safe thing. We are the Queen's Guards, <laughs> Sherry. Thanks, Selkie. I try. He has been with Didi for nine months, and she sits while he chats to women. Hi, but you all want to bring Chantal. The dummies. Yeah, they're just fucking dumb. <laughs> exactly. No, they weren't real news. Correct, Bacon. Yes, yes. we listened to Countess Beezer and says she's the one that you like and trust on here. She's insane. But like, that's the dumb thing. Like, she's not taking anybody's word as evidence, right? She constantly cries out, you need to show me, you need to show me, show me the clip, show me where I said this. And it's like, girl, we're the audience. We know, we've been here. Guess what? We're more trustworthy than you are at this point in the narrative. Because you can't fucking remember Tuesday. Like, maybe listen to the people who are telling you, um, no, actually, last year, this is how it went down. Because you're wrong, often. He was with Chantal when Dee stepped in. BB, Let's go to Maria Pondu who? What are you talking prison about? Prison pen pal website. That was just a test. <laughs> yeah, their savior sent to, save, sent to save the world. What? No, she didn't. She said, oh yeah, that wasn't his wiener. I know what his wiener looks like. Blech, gag. And it's Dee helping him strike reactors. Not I never helped him strike reactors. I haven't helped him fucking... What it, I think maybe I helped him strike Monty maybe once or no. Did I help him? Oh yeah, I did. No, I helped him with the thing. The she letter. wrote the letter. The cease and desist was a cease and desist something. Whatever, curious. Again, I'm responsible for everything. I'm responsible for all his actions, right? So you can stop. No, send more money if you want, but <laughs> you're wrong, curious one. Send more money. I need to, I need to know more details about what you're talking about. <laughs> also, payday is still another like 10 days away. Uh, they just look so stupid. It's impossible to fucking rage about it. It's impossible. They're dumb. Dum, da, dum, dum. The cease and desist. Dum. Perfect. Da, dum, dum. <laughs> Jealous. Oh, we're all so jealous of Rudy. Lady Starfire, but what about morning wieners, right? Well, like a breakfast hot dog? You want him gone for what? Like, I don't, like, why is that my problem that you want him gone? They're all Kiwi Farms members with no outlet to be psycho stalkers. Uh, Reptilian victim blamed Emily Artful and defended Creepshow Art. I do not want to hear anything from that guy. He is not credible. Yeah, I heard that too, Bridget. Isn't YouTube responsible for policing the content on YouTube? People have known for a long time that he is trash. The thing is, even if people think he's trash, he has to violate terms of service for YouTube to kick him off. Correct. And reaction channels fucking violate, they fucking say bad shit about him too. So... I'm sorry, what do, what do reaction channels saying bad shit about a content creator have to do with terms of service? I mean... There are elements of terms of service, like you can talk about, well, community guidelines specifically in the bullying and harassment stuff, but like criticizing and reviewing content that is public on the platform is a different thing. One, transformative, and and two, talking about the things that we watch is kind of the way that this works. You have to look at it from that standpoint. I'm not defending his actions. I'm just saying from a logical standpoint, what happened on the Sam's Bar Lounge videos was done on his private time. So why would YouTube care about that? 
unless well they might be like oh we, we're platforming a known abuser blah 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 maybe but that's their fucking problem why is that my problem yeah when it comes down to the semantics of what youtube does that's very much a youtube conversation to have about like all of that but the content that he that old mate produces now Chantel's not touching, right? Chantel's not producing that. But that's not to say that that's not how it started. Just get that right. That'd be great. Um, <laughs> Zora, thank you for the super chat, mate. I appreciate it. And thank you. Zora says, Zach, are you tired yet? Get some rest. I'm going to get some rest. I've got a gym session to do after this, and then I'll be asleep probably by about 2 a.m., which will be good. Um, that's fine. I had a nap today. It's great. I'm great, Zora. Thank you for checking in. Thank you for the super chat. That's very kind. And yes, I know Boba. Hmm. I'm not your responsibility. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. If I'm not going hard for him, I'm defending him. Well, then I guess I'm defending him because I'm not... I don't have that mentality right now. Sorry. Wow. Gross. You could just, like, stop talking Like, you want about me to him. act and feel a way that I don't, so... You could just stop talking about him. Say. It'd be really easy to stop talking about him. Oh, gotta get cleaning downstairs. He was mean to Gabby Hanna and shamed her mental illness, then started defending her in a newer video as if he's a saint, even scolded someone else for taking an advantage of her state of mind like he did. Gabby Hanna is a whole different rabbit hole. When you fall out of love, of course. Ooh, gloating. The more you better to try to do something, the more she refuses my workout, to. So I'm now doing full <laughs> bodies three now. days a week. It's not just it's that. Also, it's really hard. It's just like... It takes like two hours to get through a session. It's hard. I, need a lot of I know that people do care about me, Claire. I know that. But do you know how many people watch me? How many people care? And it's like, I, I want to make it clear. I never, ever take that for granted. Or maybe I do sometimes, yes. But I don't mean to. And I do appreciate it. But I cannot live my life for anyone else. You know what I mean by that? Marissa! Neither him or what he does is your responsibility. You're taking advice from other people, taking criticism on board and growing as a person is not living your life for someone else. Just clarify. Lucky you got out when you did. These people only know a portion of your story. Yes, thanks, Marissa. It's true. Yeah, there's so much you guys don't know or understand about how I'm feeling. And possibly Jamila, possibly. I don't see Matter in the same way that everyone else does. Like, I kind of see him the way Dee Dee does in a little bit of ways, like, because I was with him and I loved him, like her. So, because I was in a relationship with him, I see him differently than you guys. I have empathy for him. I, oh my God, ew. Feel, I notice things in those Sam Sparlaunch videos when he says things like I hate myself because I I and that's why I also probably I stayed oh, a lot get out of town I hate this but it wasn't denial a lot because yeah like show Bob's boo Marissa, show. boo because I feel like boo he should hate himself Ava welcome to your computer you should be blinded so why am I being why am I being hated for being in love with him because that's fucking crazy. Sorry. Sorry. Not, I'm not a professional and I'm not here to shame anyone. But Jesus, Mary and Joseph. It's insanity. To sit here for literally hours to tell us everything. Oh, but I'm still in love with him. Oh, I feel sympathy for him. Oh, I can fix him. That'll come up. It's madness. It's madness. It's madness. Oh, but I still feel like I'm in it with him. I've been manipulated. Gal. You haven't been in a relationship for months. You've had zero engagement with the individual, you say, for a while. Can we let it go? Can we learn to get let it go? Can we pull up a frozen? Let this shit go. Like, yes, I am. I'm not defending him. I'm not defending his actions, Jen Toddler. Oh, uh, Jen, I did roller skating first. I guess that was the big one. Roller skating and steps. And then I went to a booty camp and that kicked my butt, even though I'd lost a whole heap of weight. And then I realized that in the process of losing all my weight, I also lost a substantial amount of muscle. And then I found a PT. How I see it is I do have a different perspective. That's the thing. You guys are like just seeing what you want to see as well. Like I, Pardon me. I see him as a human being. Like I feel like I'll, I feel like YouTube dehumanizes people. Um, I see him as an abusive monster, personally. Like, it really does. Like, YouTube dehumanizes people. Um, yeah, I think the No, I, I think my perception of this individual came about after the stabbing. And then 
multiple streams and then multiple videos and then multiple behind the scenes stuff. And just a lot, just a lot, just so much, so much, so much. Which is, I'm just entertainment. Abusing drugs and that makes him crazy. He was good to real and victim. I don't think he's mentally ill. I think he is a little bit, but I think he has definitely got, he's, he needs help. Like, I feel like he is a hurt person too. Like, I feel like I- Not this hurt people, hurt people bullshit. I don't know. I feel like maybe that's why it was so hard to like, you know, I would give him so many like chances or we would keep getting back together because I would always be hopeful. Like I even would say, like, let's get couples counseling. Like, let's, let's go to therapy together. Like I thought like for real, he wanted to work on himself. Like, you know, I can't save him. I know. I thought I could. Well, I hate it here. Because what do you do with people like that? He is a human being. Some human beings suck. I know, but those people still need- A dangerous human being who stabbed two people. People to love them, right? Um, n no. No. Turns out no. No. Good people. Good people, kind people, thoughtful people, people who, who deserve love are the ones who deserve love. People who stab people, people who abuse people, people who um, SA people, people who are dangerous individuals, who threaten people, um, who, like, yeah, are monsters. No, they don't deserve my love. No, thank you. Mm -mm. What a weird hill to die. It is indeed a weird hill to die on, Elle. It's a weird hill to roll down and die on. Both. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't agree with, like pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing all these people to the edge either like i don't i don't agree with ruining Dee's life you know really because weren't you the one like proclaiming all about like contacting her mom's care home consistently bringing up her workplace and her like all of that um shitting on where she lived wasn't that you that was you right i'm pretty sure that was you foodie was that you could we just we'll, we'll wind it back because i might have misheard that did i mishear that maybe i misheard that so i mean i don't agree with like pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing all these people to the edge either like mm -hmm. i don't i don't agree with ruining Dee's life or, you know i don't agree with ha huh, but you but you you um called your banners and pointed your audience in that direction mm, okay great just all this other stuff you know those types of people don't deserve your time or love no that's why i'm that's why i'm here that's different oh that's different terry of course that's different because that's what i really that was maria pondu <laughs> But it doesn't make it any easier. Hurt people don't get a pass to hurt others. No, I know. That's why I'm not like excusing it, but I was trying to understand it. You know? Because uh, mm -hmm. okay. it's hard for me to just accept that this person I had so many feelings for is just evil. You know, like it's... The why? Why is that so hard to believe? You yourself are a vulnerable individual who falls for anyone's shtick. So it's absolutely believable. It doesn't make any sense to me. So I, I, it's almost like I need to try to make sense or get some kind of closure. No, I haven't, L. I was playing video games this weekend. Or, or something has to, like, make sense to me. Rally the banners, all of that. For me to move on, I don't know, like... Oh, I was also watching the Ring of Power... Uh, Rings of Power? Rings of Power, yes. Rings of Power over House of the Dragon. By the way, don't fight me. Um, <laughs> I'm a really big Galadriel fan. She's She's really cool. Of course not, Chantaller. And I'm not defending that part of it. You know I'm not. Because elves are cool, you guys. Yeah. I did not get Splatoon, no, Lucas. I've been playing some Pokemon and some Warframe and some other stuff. Thoughts on the new She-Hulk? Yeah, it's so bad. Gloating, no, it's great. What are you talking about? I love campy, like, campy BS. I don't know if we've met, but I really love, I love a good time, stupid, stupid laugh. I love it. So was it episode four? Episode four. Madison. My name is Madison, spelt with two N's and a Y, but not where you think. Iconic. Instantly, instantly iconic. The most memorable character of the entire thing. Um... I really like it. I like it. It's campy and stupid, and I like She-Hulk in general, but Madison's my new favorite character. <laughs> exactly. When, that's what I realized. When he chooses to get help is when he chooses to become a better person. I, I revel in the cringe of things being bad to be so good. 
That's why I like it. Instead, he runs and hides and denies. Yep. Hi, Luke. But I'll tell you right now, I hated Thor. I also watched Thor Love and Thunder this weekend. Oh, boy. Bad film. Bad film. Bad film. I don't understand people hating She-Hulk and its goofiness and kind of like, it's more brash and in your face, but Thor Love and Thunder was just a bad film. Bad. Bad. Poor Chris Hemsworth. He must have been tired that day when they shot, but his voice kept going in and out of Asgardian and Australian, and as a native speaker, like, it, it was very apparent. Very apparent. I felt like Valkyrie and Mighty Thor should have had a lot more screen time together because they had really good chemistry. Um, too much Thor in my Thor film. Didn't like Korg. Korg literally looked like a sack of potatoes with some like cement poured on him. It was not not good. The visual effects artists are clearly overworked. Not good. The screaming goats were really good. I mean, they had some pretty solid comedic timing. And Christian Bale as Gore did a really good job for the seven lines he had, but too much, too much Thor in Thor. Liana, don't wait until it's too late. Yeah, the script was also bad, Glad. Yeah, I don't blame you, Poetic. The script was bad. Understanding and excusing is different. No, I'm not, not excusing, and I never did. I never, like, well, maybe here and there, yes. Sorry for everyone not here for the Marvel rant, but uh, welcome. I would, but no, I mean, I know wrong is wrong, and that's why I'm trying to, you know. Uh, if I had to pick a team, either Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter, it's Lord of the Rings. Like, hands down. Reginald, instead of coming to terms that you were wrong about him, you're desperately trying to find anything right in him. One Division's a very good pick for your favorite Marvel thing, Sarah. Very Well, good. yeah, I guess I do try to find... It's done really well. I do try to... Find... And that's the thing. Like, One Division was exploring all of these, like, sitcom-based stuff, and I think that's the problem with She-Hulk, because She-Hulk's basically just Ally McBeal, right, with She-Hulk, um, but they're not giving it a lot of breath to, like... Like, She-Hulk's not going to be eight seasons long. You know, hasn't got the time to do that. So it's trying to pack as much story in while having those little bits of, like, fun and shenanigans, which, you know, is hard because people really like to be, oh, the MCU's so serious. Okay. I'm right, too. It's really not that serious. Yeah, I do. Some of the characters are serious. Like, Wanda's entire story was serious, right? Trauma, grief, dealing with all of that. But, like, some of it's just bonkers bananas, you know, stupid. And I like stupid fun. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Emma. Hello. The percentage of narcissists that seek help is less than 1%. They only end up in therapy due to court order. Bye, Zora. Sleep well. Yeah. Not many, Golden Girl, yeah. I met a couple, actually. SGT. I just want Secret Wars into... Um, into... Oh, it was Fantastic Four incursion into battle world that's all i want i just want to see dr doom be a god that's years away who coffee yeah there wasn't enough time exploring gay valkyrie sarah there wasn't there just wasn't life is who he's scamming at the time she, i'm just gonna let her run it's i don't fine. have very many in real life friends that i talk to right now I don't even want any. That's sad, but... He has stolen light of you, verbally and physically used you and made fun of you. What will it take? Yeah. <laughs> All you can say is it's tahini and falafel or what you want and cannot make a bigger list of good qualities than bad. He is not worth the pain and regression. No, no, no. I know. Yep. That's true, Jack. Real life friends can share opinions so, and not be blocked or screamed at. You just sat there and proven while you're moving generally. to Montreal. No, I'm moving to Montreal to be closer to stuff to do. The Batman was just fine. I am a big fan of the Riddler. Yeah. From Batman Forever. Batman Returns? Batman Forever. Batman. No. Batman and Robin. Big fan of the Riddler from Batman and Robin. Jim Carrey, right? Hilarious. I don't want that one, man. But also, the Riddler's a big goofball, and now they've kind of gone real grim dark, which Batman always was. But I need a little bit of like dumb goofball in my grim dark. Don't necessarily need like <laughs> Doctor Freeze levels of goofball, but I don't know what to do anymore. A little bit. I'm tired. 
Lady Gaga is going to be Harley Bibi. Yes, I'm very excited for that. She's going to be real Jersey. But who's playing Joker? Wait. Yeah, who's playing Joker? Yeah. Oh, it is Batman Forever. Sherry. I thought Batman Forever was Ice and Ivy. Oh, no, that's and Robin. No, that doesn't make sense because Batgirl's introduced. And Janet's been waiting for wine and karaoke. Is it Jared again? I, I hope it's not Jared wine. again. Is it Joaquin? Her. Is it Joaquin? Oh, it is Joaquin. Ooh, it the drama. It. Interesting. <laughs> I see what you did there, baby. <laughs> Did you change your panties after sharding to dress it? Ew. 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 Crisscross. Ew, it came back. I Thoughts know. on Affleck, Batman versus Robert? Um, I don't like Batfleck at all. Do um, wine. At all. <laughs> the minute I say I'm going to be a mess, they go do wine. That's probably... No, just at all. He didn't have a solo film at all. He's literally, like, bad. Just bad. I've been telling Chantel to redo all of the food and have her fucked up and it would I get so many I actually really hits. liked all of the actors in DCEU. Mouthful. A little um, cannabis and Mario. But Batfleck, I felt like, was yes. the weakest. Cannabis, Mario, and Paneer. Ezra Miller's a bit of a weirdo. Let's change the mood and have fun. Um, I want you guys to know that I've been doing that. Like, personally, I prefer so the hard. TV Flash over Film Flash. Mm. Cyborg was great. Superman Maybe was great. Movies. Wonder Woman was great. Aquaman was great. Right. Yeah, Batfleck was really just saying nothing to me. Bad Fleck, haters, am so. I right? More like Bad Fleck. Yes, I am trying very hard. Do you know how bad sometimes I want to call him? You don't. You're stupid. Like, do you know how bad I want to call him? Yeah, I'm understating a bit of a weirdo. Total weirdo. Bonkers bananas. I didn't call him. Also, can we let go of Morbius? And I don't. Can we be done I'm with Jared Leto in pretty much everything? Um, because specifically, there's a time where sp- 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 I thought things were better and Morbius. they probably weren't. We can be done with that. Original. That can never come back to me. That'd be great. I miss going to a Don. Okay, you want to know what I miss? What? What I do you miss? miss? What Don is. You miss talking about the DCEU? Because that's what we're doing. And getting home. Lighting a candle. Making really yummy food. Anything I want to eat. Anything. That's very good to hear, T. And then having sex. Ugh. Why are you missing him? Ew. He's a monster. <laughs> Coffee first. No, it's not. I know, and I don't miss any of the, the bad stuff either. I don't miss the lying and the cheating and everything. I don't miss that he won't even acknowledge the fact that he fucking completely lied to me. Someone better who actually loves you is waiting for you. I hope so. And maybe part of me really believes he did love me. That's Ooh, probably what. But he's got another know. receipt. But then there's no Hold way. On. There's no way. Hold on, wait, look. Fruity. Hold on, wait. We just got a, We got one more receipt. Receipt. Literally the same day he started his channel, took a while to find. Oh, thanks, Lottie. Appreciate you. Let's open the thing. Let's open the thing. We're opening the thing. Open the thing. Here it is. Oh, wait. We got to put the thing up. Here it is. Cool. Same day the channel went live. <clears throat> Fruity Beauty. Wait, we'll get we'll get up close and personal. I know it must be hard to watch this roller coaster. Capital R English honors. Who are we? I have put out for you guys, but I know you want no. But I want you to know that I will talk someday when ready about the harder times. But I want to assure you, I am in no danger. Thanks, guys. Imagine having to post this. <laughs> oh boy imagine having to post this this is one sad two ill three double ill four i hate everything about it five my god <laughs> terrible oh god it is hard to watch this roller coaster and that's why no one believes you or feels empathy for you anymore you consistently chose to do all of this dumb shit Sorry, dude. Even after everything that you went through. And people have been on your side so many times between now and then. Right? But you're just going to fight with anyone who tells you that, no, maybe you did make a stupid decision and stupid actions. Oh, well. Anyway, we're going to finish off this stream. 
love somebody and do that. But then I cheated on BB and I really loved him. Okay. It's the romance (laughs) that never was. Well, it's the romance that was on again, off again, and 47 times removed, but yes. It's like we had like a whole routine that I missed, you know? Do I miss buying him outfits? Yeah, I do. (laughs) Or I did. This is fucking gross. Dude, you're sad. You are sad. Go find something different. Go back and look. He annoyed you from day one. You lit up when Nicholas texted. That's but true. when he called or texted you, you look burdened. You're she right? put this community post out because we all knew everything and after paperclips, they started his channel and went live in a car together doing carpool karaoke and then she disappeared. Imagine having to tell your audience that I'm safe, you guys, because the man you're with you introduced as dangerous consistently. Blah. Awful. Who is my favorite Batman? Right. Um, she said she loves him, but not in love with him. I still love my love, love my dark after I left the asshole. Christian Bale was really strong, but that's because the films were strong. I don't know. Can you Steel only have one Batman favorite movies. Batman? All of them? Can I say all of them? Probably all of them. They've all been good, but Batflex my least favorite. Yeah, bugs. <laughs> Talking at me. No. That's a cop out. What do you mean there's a cop out? Batman's my favorite Batman. Good answer. Other side of the mirror. Welcome to the Rampart Beezers. Michael here. Keaton is a pretty strong Batman. Like. Women on average. Also, Batman, Re- Batman Returns is probably one of my favorite Batman. But that's because Michelle Pfeiffer is an incredible Catwoman. And Danny DeVito is an incredible Penguin. DVL. It's a great ensemble. Turkations before they leave. Chantal left before that. Give her credit. I do feel like I don't deserve credit because I still have feelings for him. I always seem relieved to be home because I was. Like, I, rem- I remember like being completely fucked up. Keaton's a strong contender. It's probably Keaton. Only because of Batman Returns. There it is. There's my answer. Do my makeup? It's definitely not George Clooney. At all. Still ever. In any him. universe. Pretty, hey mate, thanks for being here for 20 months. I appreciate you. Pretty says, Michael Keaton is the only Batman. Pretty strong contender, mate. Thank you for agreeing and thank you for being here for 20 months. I appreciate you. Oh, is she still on pause? Nope, not still on pause. Christian Robert Ben. I love really, you Robert Pattinson doesn't even, like, factor in. What about being with him when you were stopping? Hell, I feel like you need to go back and watch some real campy, fun Batman times. At the Starbucks near his house. Instead of the one. Well, actually, before Michael Schumacher, so you need to watch original Batman and Batman Returns. One in Orleans. And then come back. <laughs> no, I, wanted... <laughs> I never wanted to tell you guys, obviously, because I knew you guys would fucking not want to support me and hate me. And I just, I, I guess I was always like, I, I never wanted to do anything. I did watch the the Batman with Rod, Robert Patton. Patterson. Patterson? Pattinson. Patterson. Yeah. Patterson. Um, he was fine. I think, like, The Lighthouse with Willem Dafoe is so much more interesting with him acting. Because, like, Batman's acting isn't the reason why you watch a Batman, right? You watch the Batman for, like, comic book action. Sometimes some grim dark. You definitely watch a Batman story to watch pearls fall off a necklace in a dark alley after two parents get shot. That's why you watch the Batman. Um... Yeah, but see, Keaton just had really good action in there. And Robert was just kind of like doing the thing a little too realistically. And it's just not ent- entertaining. To upset you guys, I just wanted to just be back with him, you know? I can't with the vibrator box. So, Elle, you're confirming you haven't seen any of the late 80s, early 90s films. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, Brittany. Oh, you're doing a stream? It's the chase. Wanting what we can't have makes us want it even more. Meg, that's that's a very good list. I'll, that's a pretty good list. Still having these feelings all these months later. Yeah, it is normal desert highway, unfortunately. A lot of women I talk to still have feelings years later. Can you process your feelings offline? That'd be great. Just go speak to some professionals, even your real-life friends. This This is getting tired. We're tired. So tired. Batman Beyond was cartoon, yes. With his behavior, yeah. And then there's Batman the Animated Series, which is also different. She's talking or something, Kitchen, yes. 
from the kindness of But Elle, if you haven't seen Batman Returns, you can't understand why Michelle Pfeiffer is such an incredible Catwoman. Her? So good. I don't know. Chris Cross. Not my, I don't know. Vicky Swords. Member for eight months. Love you, Queen Beezer. Let's be happy and leave the drama behind. Yes, thanks, Vicky. Love you too. <laughs> yes, you should, Elle. Yes. Why won't you listen? <laughs> Hey, I Veronica. Have to do a 3X men's gap sweatshirt. It was an XXL. I will always have feelings towards my abuser, but it is nothing but pure rage and hate. You're lucky, Holly. She is still talking. We're because almost there. Maybe it's, I don't know. Bebop, it's, it's the poop jug. Poop jug. If I never stop loving him, I still have to do his. You don't care for her cat suit clown? It was such a good cat suit, though. I really liked it because, like, the stitching was all white, so it was really contrasty. <laughs> Pardon me. Um, it was very contrasty, which was cool. I liked what she did with the nails. And I liked the fact that she did all of that whip action in, like, one take after being, like, practicing for so long. Oh, God, Michelle Pfeiffer, good for you. Anyway, sorry, I just felt like this... This... This, this was a pause. <laughs> oh boy, this was a pause. That, look, feel relatable, right? Am I right? Am I right, guys? Relatable. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. It's right for myself, exactly. That's why I'm here. Oh, well, pretty technically we could do that over on the Discord. It's a broken arm wave today. Oh, you can go live and make money? Really? Hi, love. Oh, my God, I just about dropped to the floor. I was like, what the Morning, hell? Morning, just got divorced again and messaged me. Oh, my God. That's hard, Sherry. Did you think about getting back with him? It will get easier. <laughs> like, not everyone's the same. Some of you are very strong. Some of you are... I don't think people who don't go back are not strong. It's just, it's so, it's just different for everybody. You know, like at the end of the day, I don't think anyone was really, really understands, but. I'm just going to yeah, let her talk. Know, thank you. I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to go back live later downstairs. In a bit, okay? All right, I'm done. I'm done. I have things to do. So chat. <laughs> thank you all for being wonderful. I appreciate your shenanigans, your respectfulness, your responsibility. And I said that around the wrong way. Sorry, it's been a couple of days. Um, thanks for hanging out with me as we catch up on Foodie Beauty. It was indeed the worst, as I um, assumed. <laughs> but I'm going to go and do the thing. So I hope you all have a fabulous Sunday. I hope you take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. Hug someone and talk to people if you need to. Um, have a great day. Look after yourselves. Day and or night. Sleep well if you're on this side of the planet. Um, and that's it. Thanks for being wonderful. For those of you on the rewatch, I appreciate your comments, opinions, and eyeballs. If you'd like to hit the like button on the way out, I'd like that very much. And I'll see you all in the next video and or live stream.